What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to uh, Spawncast. Was Evan episode one hundred nine? Uh, I think it's one ten actually. One ten. Wow, we're moving up pretty well. Uh, episode one ten. Uh, I got a bunch of people here. Sean keeps popping in and out, so you're gonna see that a lot. I think he's doing that thing where he's like on his laptop Wi-Fi in his living room. There's no, there's no basketball on tonight. I don't know what he's doing. He's watching like he watches basketball and wrestling. I think that's like all he watches. I think he's so. connected to the McDonald's Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what that's actually what's going on. But we have the same people that you run into online in Smash Brothers. Too, he's on that Walgreens <laughs> Wi-Fi. Actually. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then they go on online and say, "Let's play some Smash Brothers online, Elite Smash with with, with, with McDonald's Wi-Fi." Well, we got the people in here to to make up for Sean's like popping in and out here absence. So let me go from trade off. From right to left here, we got OJ players. What's going on, man? What's up? And I want to let you guys know that I actually bought another copy of Shadow of Mordor. So no. I can, and I'm going to unbox it and play. No, I'm not. It's going to stay sealed. <laughs> why? Why did you have Staying sealed. Somebody <laughs> hand that to you at a store? Like, just kind of no, walk I went by. and bought, a, bought another copy just for on this podcast for me to say it's going to stay sealed. So now I have two copies of Shadow of Mortar, both of them saying sealed. Let's go. I mean, that's a weird yeah. flex, but whatever whatever makes you happy. I'm right. Yeah. People, who know what I'm, people know what I'm talking about. There's what? probably some people in here that know well, what I'm talking about. Why is really an feel. inside joke? Why did you buy Shadow of Mortar for just $1? You'd get three months of Game Pass, <laughs> which has Shadow of Mortar available right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm you right. It's staying sealed. <laughs> Two you copies deal, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, how do you think they got the nine and a half million subscribers on Game Pass? Is the that perfect, really what they're at? The perfect Mother's know. Day gift. <laughs> that was that was like the some unconfirmed uh, information. <laughs> for just one dollar, three months of entertainment. Think of your mother today and sign up for Game Pass. <laughs> I might buy my mom a copy of Shadow of Mortar and she don't got an Xbox. I might buy her another copy. Uh, hey, Sean's back. Man, that fucking laptop is just <laughs> garbage, man. <laughs> I seriously, first off, I'm sitting there and like people are talking and like I couldn't hear. Like I didn't think Miss Click was actually talking. Like, oh, I thought you were trolling no, me. No, fuck. I couldn't hear, like I could hear Spawn Wave and I could hear OJ. And then that was it. And I saw Jordan's mouth moving. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I moved my mouth quite a bit. It's okay. It, was, okay. it annoyed the hell out of me. Uh, Sean, uh, Sean's back though. He's in. What's going yeah, on, Sean? Hello. <laughs> Not much. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, Nate, what's going on, man? How's it going tonight? I just got a new subscription to Game Pass for a dollar. <laughs> what is Andy Ackerman saying? Something about lesbians. Rip to the best schizophrenic butch lesbian ante that a growing boy could ask for. I'll miss checking out ladies with you. It's very weird. Did oh, did his maybe his aunt? I was say his away. aunt pass away. Maybe. Oh, we're gonna oh, go with that, and I'm not gonna get rid of it as a comment. So no, I wouldn't. Out yeah, of respect. No. Yeah. No, I guess. Okay. Well, sorry, Andy, if that's the case. Um, good to have you here tonight, but sorry about that. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Miss Click is with us tonight. What's going on, Miss Click? Thanks hey. for joining us tonight. Hey, of course. What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Modern Vintage Gamer. What's hey, on, what's man? up? How you doing? Good Thanks for having me back on the show, man. Yes, yes. Uh, and then Jordan, what's going on, man? What's going on, everyone? Glad to be here. Oh, yep. Andy did follow up saying uh, his, his anti pass. So yep. sorry, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Andy. Uh, and then uh, Evan Evan is is here with the timeout messages if needed, as usual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then evan you actually grabbed the some of the the example from uh yeah o oj posted Gamatu. the Gamatu, uh <laughs> chat uh rules and stuff so we have <laughs> some of those below in our description and i will be handing out timeouts accordingly Ooh. you guys love those rules don't you that, that that's they the seem best. perfect they, like they are right awesome. there bro you can't do nothing <laughs> it's your comments gone baby <laughs> uh but yes, everyone's here. We got a bunch of people uh, in, in the in the chat today. So, Sean, tell me about Saints Row. Man, like it's because let me let me let me just say, MVG before we went on today said I hate the thing and I'm throwing it away. Yeah, <laughs> man. What I, I don't know. I don't know why I keep buying the same game again for a system <laughs> that I bought it for like. 10 years ago and then bought it on steam for like two bucks and paid full price i don't get why i'm like hooked on the the switch you know port thing but this is the last time i'm gonna do this i think 
Fuck yeah. that game. Until yeah, the I next never, one. I never Until played, the next one, yeah. I've never <laughs> played the third Saints Row game before, so, like, it was new to me. But, you know, I think the core game is is a good game. You know, the uh, it's all, it, it is a good game. There's, not, there's nothing wrong with the game. It's just the port, the port to the Switch yeah. is, is pretty bad. Yeah, it's not very good. It's just weird because they're putting out a patch on month monday i think oh really this, this this week coming up they they said they had to push their patch back it was on twitter so i assume because part of that is performance fixes i assume something's gonna be fixed in that for free. Interesting. Really run that bad Interesting. The, the hope yeah is this quality of life pushback where they tried it and it just kept crashing the game well That's, it's almost like it plays worse at times because yeah, i would go yeah. i would go through periods where like everything seemed fine and then something would come along and it would just be like Bleh. And it's yeah. like, what the fuck happened here? That's my experience with it too. I I don't know if it's like there's something messing with the, the game, like some OS thing, but yeah, it's weird. I it's interesting because they like they didn't it didn't feel like they rushed it. I mean they announced that thing like last year, didn't they? Yeah. 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 From last year. And now the like the patch is gonna be ready this week coming up. I, I mean, am I wrong in saying that we, we would expect the performance to be like on par with the Xbox 360 version, at least, right? And it's, uh, it seems way slower it, to me. I'd expect it a bit better. I think it's a higher yeah. resolution. I think it's 1080p docked. Yeah. And I think the Xbox 360 was something like, what, 580p or some weird yeah. number. Uh, maybe that's what it is, but the 360 has that scaler chip. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, as, I as a, as a dock game. I would expect it to run better, though. I would expect yeah. it to run like more like it's. Yeah. It's support. I mean, I know it wasn't designed for the Switch in the first place. Obviously, like the architectures are different, but I mean, I still think that in the open world segments, I guess I've been having a little bit of a different experience. Like it's running okay at times, but like Sean says, like it kind of eh, messes up. But I haven't had as many times as it messes up, maybe as you guys. So I mean, well, I know, I played, you know, Nintendo had that uh, video clip where like it glitched out one of the early missions for him and shit. And he was like, did this happen to you? And I was like, no, it almost seems like some people are having like substantially worse times with the game. And I don't know any sort of rhyme or reason to that, but I don't know. It, it, it is very weird. Mm. Are you playing like mostly in handheld or dock? Cause I'm, I've been playing docked most of the time. I played about half and half. Right. I think and it plays better in handheld mode. Actually. I think yeah. so too. And it looks better too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's really ass backwards. <laughs> it really I mean is. Zelda Zelda's the same way. The Breath of the Wild runs better yeah. handheld. Uh yeah, it does. but then we're stocked, which is weird. Yeah. Um, but I think that I think it looks better just because it's a native resolution and it's like you know, scrunched down to the six inch screen. Um, but I think I think people are misremembering how poorly this game ran on PS3 and Xbox 360. Yeah. I mean, I, I played it. I, I, the game hey, went down to 24 frames a second. On the 360, it went to the mid 20s. I mean, that's I what it does on the Switch. Yeah, but I think it's just it's it's the game. It's it's not necessarily a bad port because it basically is just a straight port. They didn't go to remaster it. They didn't really do anything. They increased the resolution and just dumped it on the Switch. That's what it seems like. There's no gyro aiming either. They so, they did they did say that though. They're like, there's not any other types of enhancements. It's just on the Switch. That's basically yeah. what they <laughs> said. I mean, it, it sucks because the game's always been poorly optimized. Yeah, it's a good point because I mean, back in the 360 and PS3 days, we didn't have like digital foundry like counting frame rates and stuff, and no one really gave a shit about FPS as much as they do now. So That's I think true. I think you I think it's a good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I, I'm just curious what this patch is going to do because they just get a stable 30 out of it. I think it'll it'll be much more manageable. That, that's, think, that was my was, only that's the uh, the only problem with the game, in my opinion, is the is the frame rate inconsistency. If they iron that out, dude, it, it's a blast. Like yeah. as someone who's never played the game before and played the first two Saints Row games. And that's kind of my memories of the series to have this over the top style game. It's just, you know, it's fun. And, it you know, it's nice to have a non Lego style open world game on the yeah. switch. Agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, you know, we're, we're waiting and we really want that open world, you know, game on the switch to appear. And this is, this is probably the best thing you can get at the moment. So hopefully yeah. Grand Theft Auto will come at some I, point. I feel like they, it, I, like I could have made the case that it was rushed because Grand Theft Auto wasn't on the system yet. And THQ Nordic figured it'd be an easy cash in just to move it over or something like that. But I don't know if GTA will ever, like show up anytime in the near yeah. near future on the switch just because the space constraints on the cartridge mm -hmm. um agree but it's uh it's it's interesting we'll see what the patch has because patch actually might make it halfway decent we'll see we'll see uh what about miss click what have you been playing this week anything good yeah <laughs> Uh, dude, I'm, I'm still, I'm still just flat out. I'm not out of the Splatoon black hole. So I've just been playing that. And oh, I mean, nothing wrong with Splatoon. Splatoon's, yeah. 
It's fun. If you guys aren't playing it, I'm telling you, it's one of the most underrated games ever. I know it, John and Sean them be rolling their eyes right now. But no, it's, it's so underrated. underrated. No, it's so underrated. underrated. I gotta send you a better tank top though. That one doesn't say player essence on it. So let me send you a better one. But no, you're, send you're me a tank top, please. Yeah, I will send you a tank top. All the tank tops. I'll, okay, um, but it, it, you're right though. It is underrated. It is if anyone underrated. if anyone can sp speak on Splatoon, it's it's Miss Click. <laughs> she, <laughs> you you have the most dedicated long streams of playing that game on Twitter. I'm so excited. I'm literally traveling. I'm traveling to an event in Wisconsin at the end of the month for Smash Brothers and Splatoon, and I'm like so excited. And I <laughs> I never thought I'd ever be this excited for a game. Sean, shut up! You're I mean, at me. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, Splatoon. Splatoon Sean, don't be here. It's for kids. You're all no, a it's a, it's oh, a really no, good. But... It's a really good game, but I mean, can it really be considered underrated if it sold nine million copies? Like, I mean, in Japan, in Japan, that is the game, right? I'm talking about in the West, it's super underrated. Yeah. No, like Meta West, Metacritic, like, like, like what, what, people don't give it credit for. Like, when talk about like the big shooters, like you'll never people yeah. won't bring up Splatoon. They'll be That's like, true. oh, Call of Duty. Yeah. They'll say this game, that game. They'll bring up other stuff, but they'll never bring up Splatoon. Bring up right. like right. Halo and stuff. Halo, like that. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. But that's, yeah. a different, that's a different shooting market. I mean, it's hardcore fighting game community who's hardcore into Street Fighter and Soul Calibur, they're not going to bring up Smash Brothers either. Either no, they're going to make really Smash not. Brothers underrated. Mm -hmm. It, it totally gets overshadowed by Smash as well because Nintendo tends to put more resources into the Smash community, which is fine because over in Japan, like they got what they need. Uh, but then also in the sense, it's more related to Overwatch than anything based off of its mechanics. A lot of Overwatch players I'm finding out have actually switched over to the Splatoon world because of their similarities. It's crazy. And I've never played it. You've really Jordan. never played Splatoon, Splatoon ever? Splatoon? Really? Got to nope. change, Jordan. Really? You should tell me, oh, I'm scared I'm going to be trash. Well, you're uh, trash right now. Oh, yeah, I don't feel like <laughs> Jordan, you're not that competitive of a person in gaming, are you? No, not really. Yeah, not at all. Splatoon's <laughs> perfect for you. You can shoot the friggin' floor. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> you, don't even need, you don't even have to oh, know how to aim. You just, walk you just walk straight and aim like a madman. That, that's true. There's people that are like trash at killing people, but look, I got 3,000 points because I just shot the floor over and over. You know? <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Pretty much. <laughs> but they, they got they died like 15 times in the match, got like one yeah, kill, but they got tons of points because they shot the floor all over. They yep. just stayed by the base and just shot the floor. Yep. Tons of points. Yeah, one, one day I'll, hey, I got points. One day I'll give it a give it a go. I'll I will buy you the game, Jordan. I will buy you the game. Oh, I mean, then I'll Watch. definitely have to play it. Then I'm yeah. obligated to I think you would actually exactly. like I think you'd like that game. I Jordan. probably would. It's I just like Maybe I'm too scared I'd like it too much and I get addicted and I mean you play I mean work. that's valid. I mean I'm like I just started regularly playing it and I'm like I just passed <laughs> probably a thousand hours. I mean and you, you stream it like eight hours a day. Hey, you guys <laughs> yeah. can stream team. You guys can join up and just stream oh, side by side. Team. Team. Great. Evan, you gotta join us too. All oh, that watching, that. all that lurking. <laughs> uh I mean Jordan, you blasted through Yoshi, right? Yeah. But I mean, yes. Yoshi, Yoshi's not that long of a game. No, but it's like, it's still like, kind of like that. It has a similar look to what Splatoon does, whereas like that bright and colorful look and everything. I don't know. I think, I think you would really. <laughs> Are you saying enjoy... my attention span doesn't get attracted to something <laughs> unless it's bright and colorful? It's like, well, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not really saying it out loud, loud, but. Your background Spyro and a Pikachu. Yeah, I would mean, you even be living well. in that room if it wasn't that color? No, you're right. <laughs> you, okay, you guys have a point. That's fair. All right, that's fair. <laughs> uh, what about, uh, what about you, Jordan? What have you, what have you uh, been playing? What have you been up to? I haven't been playing too much this week uh, just due to some uh, some work related stuff. I just haven't had too much time. I uh, finally I know I showed you before how we started the stream, but I finally got my physical version of Sphinx. I've had it digital for a while, but uh, uh, I've been wanting that physical version. Got it on a deal and I'm happy about that. Other than that, uh, literally nothing else. I played a little bit more because I got that. Uh, I think I talked about this last week, the, the rock band guitar for a mm. cheap price finally. So I played Rock Band, tested it out, you know, had some more fun with that. I also found a super cheap copy of the latest Guitar Hero, whatever. So I was like, for like two bucks, I picked it up to give it a shot. I haven't played it yet, but that's that's my extent of gaming this week. That's fair. So hey, Sphinx is good, man. I'm sleeping oh, on Sphinx. Great. <laughs> I never do. Uh, it's great. Uh, what about MVG? What you been up to this week? Um, just uh, been playing Saints Row. Obviously, we just talked about, and I've been playing Days Gone because I actually like that game quite a bit. So I'm probably like one of the minority that actually likes that game. But I think interesting. It's pretty you do like the game? Cool. Yes, okay. I do. So I'm I'm playing through it. I'm probably about thirty hours into it right now. So I'm I'm playing. Okay. I'm finishing it. So yeah, I want to grab. Game. I want to grab that when it gets a little cheaper on sale. But uh, a lot of people actually like that game more than you would assume with kind of the reviews that came out for it. Yeah, and it's selling better than expected yes, too, which is very is. surprising to me. But yeah. um, it's it's a good game, and I, I I don't know if it's sixty bucks. I mean, let's be clear, but 
when it, once it drops to like 40 or 30, um, I would say pick it up for sure. You'll have fun with it. Yeah, I'm I, feel thinking, like, I feel like Days Gone. Yeah. I feel like Days Gone has like a non vocal majority of people that like it. Like they just like it and they don't really care about telling others. So it's, yeah. it's one of those yeah. situations where it's like the few people who are just like, I hate this game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think that with the game, first of all, there hasn't been an exclusive, right? Like a bigger exclusive for the PS4 in a while. Right. Spider or, Spider-Man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spider-Man. So yeah. people were looking and what's the most popular type of thing out there? I mean, it's open world games, right? Mm-hmm. That's one of the most popular. So you put that together with an exclusive and it seems like a somewhat interesting plot, you know, based on what they're doing. And then you're yep. going to get people to buy. There's 100 million PS4s out there. So I don't understand why people are surprised why yeah. this game is doing halfway. Decent. There's 100 million PS4s almost. You know what I'm saying? There's a, mm. a lot of people. So you get 3 million people out of that to, yeah. to, to buy the game. That's that's good. You're, you're good right there. So I, I, I'm not surprised. I've been watching it. Seems okay. There's too much damn talking, though. There's like way too yeah, much talking. Yeah. There's too much <laughs> walking around that, and flash. It seems boring as hell. Yeah. But it's great to watch. I like watching other people play it, you know, but it's just not for me. But I, I can understand why this game did well and why people are, you know, like saying, hey, let's let's check it out. I mean, and it's not like it got like a 40% on Metacritic. It's not like it's 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 got like a what a 70? Yeah, so it's, it's, still, it's like an average. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's average. So people said, okay, it's got an average, it's not getting completely crapped on. So let's check it try it out. Has and great dialogue right in the game. <laughs> <laughs> ride me like you ride your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only i only like watching the compilations of all the the bugs and stuff from that game, oh man honest. there's some really funny ones it, there are some yeah, good ones in there great. yeah what's there weird is that's that that's an interesting uh example of the game getting patched like seven times after <laughs> it came out with the reviews already out so like yep. yeah the game now is completely different for like all yep. these glitches and stuff from what was reviewed it's mm-hmm. so weird already yeah, dude, yeah. there's like what version 1.08 or something. Yep, it's it just came I think, out. Yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> the it's AI actually is been... pretty. The AI is pretty bad in the game. It um, is. Uh, the, the AI is like laughable, man. Like, even, yeah, it's, even it's on like a large really scale bad. thing spawning next to you yeah. when you're just standing there. Yeah, and mm. y- y- with a sledgehammer, I mean, you can do so much more damage than with a sh- with like with, with a pistol or something. You know, like it's so much easier just to kill people with with melee weapons. Right. Mm. Yeah, I, the the one cool thing people really say is like some of the hordes of like the freakers that come out are massive in size sometimes. So yeah. that's actually pretty cool to hear. Like mm-hmm. that's that's something I look forward to to seeing. I'd, I'd like to see Ben Studio try something like a bit more unique now though, because that I think the reason people were kind of unsure about that game is because it looked very similar to something like a Last of Us. Oh um, yeah, yeah for sure. So I'd like to see them get the green light on something a bit more uh, original, I guess, for next next gen because they're probably already moving on to the PlayStation Five now. So. Yep. Golden Abyss 2. Yeah. God, I, no. <laughs> oh, you actually have the chat rules here. I just looked at your page. <laughs> hey, man. There's gotta... a lot of the same rules here. <laughs> Evan's on top of that, man. Yeah, no port, <laughs> no, no port begging. That's your favorite rule. We've, Sean, had, that, we've had that happen. Like, that's actually happened. <laughs> oh, port, begging. Begging. <laughs> port begging is a sport for Switch fans, dude. It's like, it's like a national sport for Switch fans. It is. <laughs> uh, Nate, what about you, man? What you been playing? Uh, I'm trying to think of any weird indie games. This week. I mean, you played Saints Row. That was one. Yeah, I played that, Saints yeah. Row. Played the 360 comparison of Saints Row mm-hmm. versus Switch. Uh, what else was I playing this week? Played a game called Coral. I I think I is that this underwater? Yeah, it's game. an underwater puzzle adventure game where it's similar to kind of like a flow, but. It tries to teach the player, like it's showing the devastation that coral reefs have suffered due to humanity. So, like, you'll go through like this big vibrant area, then it'll just show the like death and the bleach of like a huge coral reef. So, it kind of makes you feel bad. That seems kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah, but then like as you're going through the areas, you bring like the area back to life. So it's kind of it's it's a weird game because it's kind of boring to play, hmm. but it's not bad either. So if you want to like be sad that humanity has failed major, you should play coral. <laughs> well, I guess I'll put it on the watch list. All right. <laughs> a way to sell a game, Nate. All right, thanks, Nate. How much is it? Uh, I don't know. Sixty bucks. Is it? Is it on? Is it? Is it on Game Pass? No, it's only. It's only on the let Switch. me tell you about it. No, <laughs> game Pass. Three months, one dollar. Make your mama smile this weekend. <laughs> yes. Uh, is it? It's only on the. Was it on? Was it a Steam game that got moved over? You know, or was it just on? Switch? I'm not sure. I mean, the oh. developer is pretty like. He's pretty excited about it because it's reflecting like his beliefs and like his connection to the ocean. And he just, you know, wants people to learn that your actions do have consequences. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you know, 
you watch Planet Earth, you should play Coral and sit there and say, wow, we suck as a species. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, then. I love feeling guilt while playing video games. Yes. Yeah, uh... You should feel bad, Jordan. I do feel bad. You know what happens? You, First, Coral gets destroyed. Then the squid and Splatoon two die, and we have the end. Listen, uh, one happen. All right. What? You don't got. I have personal. no idea what that means. Uh, <laughs> Sean, did you just play mostly Saints Row? Or what else you got this this week? Um, I actually played a lot of my Mortal Kombat arcade one up cabinet. Um, because I don't know. I've always I've always been of the mindset that the original Mortal Kombat games. You know, they haven't really aged all that well compared to something like Street Fighter. But I've actually been enjoying, you know, I guess more or less figuring out the AI because it, it gets to the point of where, like, you can accurately predict everything that's going to happen when it's going to happen. And I don't know. I just find that really interesting to me to try to figure all that shit out. But on the downside, I went and played Mortal Kombat 11 after playing that a bunch for, like, hours and hours and hours and um. I now cannot play Mortal Kombat 11. Like I have completely forgotten everything and I can't do any of the moves and it really pissed me off, but I did download that massive update. So it looks a little better, I think, but it, yeah. yeah, it introduced some changes. Now characters yeah. have blood and sweat stay on their outfits. Um, there's some other yeah. like minor, it's mostly gore related. Like it's you'll in see parody with the PS4 and Xbox one version now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There you go. Gore. There you go. Gore. You need to get an arcade stick, Sean, at this point for your Switch. Otherwise, you're going back and forth between the dog facing controller and the. And Why the are we hating on the dog face controller? But yeah. you know what? That's actually not a bad idea because I can, I can, I can justify in my mind the arcade stick for fifty dollars. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, hold no, no, on. bullshit. The Hori Mini, the Hori Mini is fifty dollars. Just get a pro controller. Just do it. But the Hori Mini is fifty dollars, and then it's just like all my stupid arcade one-ups, and I can just go back and forth, and everything's fine. And then when I play my normal Switch games, look, I just had to buy that twenty-dollar fake Wii Motion Plus remote because that's another thing I've been playing is a fuck ton of Wii games because I am doing a video on a um the Wii Duel mod that um uh, what the hell is his name um. Uh, Citrus oh, three thousand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he he sent me that, and I've been checking it out. That thing is that thing is pretty. It's pretty crazy. Like it really, like especially when you look at it. Like you wouldn't think. You would think, oh, okay, well, if I put you know my Wii disc in my Wii U and play it via HDMI, it's going to be the same sort of thing. But it's like really not. Like there's a oh. noticeable difference in the visual quality with the Wii Dual mod versus just a wii u playing your wii games like I, i'm pretty impressed with it like it really sort of breathes life into these wii games and like makes me want to revisit the catalog of games again just look mm -hmm. at all the awesome. stuff you're spending your money on versus <laughs> what you could have just gotten already no. and instead of making this big deal that you're not buying it i mean I, that's fair I yeah. had look, I had to go buy my grandma something for mother's day today that's another i think i spent like 30 some odd dollars like you spent, you spent too much money yeah i went way overboard for my mom one dollar you could have <laughs> <Aww>. given <laughs> my mom, grandma game pass i went way above i got her a year game pass <laughs> uh, uh, i sean, bought her a whole new computer sean you're gonna have to Wait, buy really? a pro oh, that can you also use game pass <gasps> oh gosh no way <laughs> yeah uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get you that pro controller at some point, Sean. I will get it at some point. I see people doing doing a crusade and comments like do a do a thing to get me a pro. Do not buy me a pro controller. I Dude, can get a pro controller at some point. I just got. I refused for the longest time because Ubisoft sent me a couple pairs of Joy Cons. I just put it off for a while. So I um, finally got. They are basically brand new. They're still in the wrapper. This guy had just some random pro controllers laying around. So I got two for the price of one. So you can probably find someone that's just selling a brand new used one. They, Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm sure I could. And you know, if I, I if they pay a full price, my game stop down the street is, is very like, they take care of me. They, they oh gave God, me all the, fun. all the, all the saints row pre-order goodies that spawn wave did not. Get I didn't get it. I just got, <laughs> I think, you know, what? and I think that, I think those extra goodies actually made the $40 like, okay to me. I, like, I feel like if I didn't get those goodies, maybe I wouldn't be quite as yeah, happy. I just got the box in the game for $40. What was all in the goodies? 
It's right here. You get uh, you, you get, get a like, bunch of stuff. You yeah, get a case. You get some thumbstick, or you get some uh, <laughs> th like rubber thumbstick thingies. You get uh, a poster. You get all sorts of stuff inside. You get Can some heard, stickers. Is this one it. that you didn't get? Hold up. Let me is read this... the back. Okay, you get a deluxe game. <laughs> <case> <laughs> <to leave. laughs> Alternate That's it. I'm, I'm buying. I'm buying the GameStop refurbished PS4. That's it. <laughs> I'll send it to you, man. If you really want it. I'm not even no. bother with this. Thing. No, it's 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 principal now. <laughs> well, you, get yeah. a screen, you get a screen cloth too. You get a yep. screen cloth. What? Oh, oh screen cloth. No. I can, I'm open this and it's thing. like it's embroidered. It has a yeah. little Saints logo on no. it. Yeah. Character art card. Thumb grip. What? Stuff you you're never going to look at again yeah. in your life. I like I like the uh the the casing though for the like the special sort of cardboardy case for it. Yeah, it's good. I Do like you remember that. with Saints Row on the 360 what you got? Like you got like this bitch and pair of headphones and a gold chain and a coin. And oh, I remember that. Stuff. I mean, was there an addition? Like, this wasn't there an addition like back then that actually came with like a, a life size giant purple dildo? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was like like. It was like a thousand dollar edition. It was like ten of them made or something. That's Wait, insane. that's legit. That was the thing. Yeah, yeah. that was one hundred percent. Now that that's that's a that's a that's a top tier item in someone's Link collection. Link didn't happen. I don't believe that. It's, I mean, I, I saw hey, Sean. Google's your best friend. Sean, Sean has the picture from the game up where he was walking around as a werewolf beating people with a giant dick. Yeah. <laughs> that game is ridiculous. Yeah, that's that was the whole point of Saints Row back in the day was to just make fun of Grand Theft Auto all the time. Right. So like, like uh, Grand Theft Auto would come out and Saints Row would come out and Saints Row would just make fun of Grand Theft Auto. Not to go back to Saints Row, but I, I do like the online co-op. I think that's pretty fun. It sucks that there's no voice chat, but yeah. I mean, I played I played. Oh, so they're adding spawn. it. Oh, are they? They're adding it to the to the uh, to the application. <laughs> The stupid cell phone. Use Discord. Yeah. yeah, at that point, I mean, because I only yeah. I, like I played with you, and then yeah. I played I played for like an hour with Ape and Eric, and we were just like dicking around. Doing They're adding matchmaking as well. Okay, what? Well, yeah. Why not just delay the fucking game? That I don't point? know. Like, they sent me a press release, and I was like, "This feels like half the game you, you're telling me is going to be added next week." <laughs> yeah, like that's not like adding in matchmaking, adding in voice chat, adding in a better frame rate, like. You, you eliminate the problems. You would eliminate all the bad press that you, or the mediocre press that you've been getting. They should. They, yeah, they sent me the press release, and I should have just said, "Okay, who do I talk to about all the stuff I didn't get?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's. I, I don't know why they they did that. I'm not sure. But hey, next week, there you go, Sean. You can download the. Oh yeah, I mean, I'll the, check it out. Like I'm, you know, it's, to me, a lot of people like to you know like do all the missions and in, in sandbox games and then just sort of be done with it like sandbox games to me like i drag my fucking feet with them like i'm doing i'm making up my own missions in my mind i'm doing like role plays like driving around the city trying to obey all the traffic laws and stuff and then <laughs> like somebody backs into me and then i get out and i like shoot them or something like that's the kind of stuff i like to do in sandbox game. and then then you do a couple missions you level your character up and then you go back to fucking around oh, all right then all right uh what about oj yeah uh, saints, saints row um you know I, I definitely was playing some saints row i did a video on it so that was cool um i was going to play shadow of mortar but then i decided not to um so <laughs> i decided to buy another copy instead what is so. the joke <laughs> it's nothing bro um, what do you mean it's nothing you i'll tell you another later. sealed copy i'll tell you i'll tell you later i'll tell you later and then okay. um so so yeah and basically playing a lot of smash i've been playing a lot of smash brothers a, a ton so just saints row and then smash brothers uh really for this week uh i don't know what's coming up. you said rage is coming out next week so i might i might pick that yeah, up tuesday uh, yes and, they reminded and, us on twitter <laughs> rage tuesday i get it oh, oh you know i didn't even, tuesday. I didn't even think you of that. just blew my mind you're welcome jordan i think i still uh I think a friend made like jokes that you won't pre-order the the really ugly talking mask edition. I think I still have that pre-ordered on Amazon. I'm not sure. <laughs> I really want to see how bad quality it is. Well, Bethesda ain't doing too hot with their collector's edition. Well, speak, mm -hmm. speaking of Rage 2, I I am playing that right now and I can't I guess can't talk about it till Monday. So can't talk about it on the podcast. Uh, and then I played more I'm I'm still working my way back through Final Fantasy 12 because uh, that actually MVG is actually a very good port on the Switch. Nice. So, and I've been playing, so I'm enjoying that. Uh, Saints Row, of course, um, and I think there was something else. Oh, more of the uh, more Shakedown Hawaii, more Shakedown Hawaii. I like the game a lot. It's fun, um, but that's mostly been my week. Is kind of kicking around between those games for the most part. 
Uh, but you'll see reviews for Rage 2 the day before uh, it comes out. So you'll at least see reviews not on release day, so the day before. So I think that'll, that should go over pretty well. Um, Evan, we have Discord question before we get into some of the topics. Well, since we're already talking about GTA and kind of Saints Row, we had one, uh -huh. which is, if you had a choice, which two GTAs would you like to come to the Switch as a pack? Uh, San Andreas is number one. And... I guess, I guess GTA Five. Yeah, I guess San Andreas and GTA Five. I'm I'm between GTA Five and Vice City, to be honest. Vice City, just the soundtrack is. Yeah, the soundtrack is good. There, if so. they could, if they could just put the yeah. soundtrack in with San Andreas like that, I'd be fine with that right there. You know? I would take cool. I would take Vice City in Five personally. Okay. I would love a Vice City done with the graphics of Five. I think yeah. that'd be that'd amazing. Be cool. Do a remake. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I I would like Chinatown Wars in Five if I had two to pick. Mm. I, I will also say Chinatown Wars in five because I want I, I feel like Chinatown Wars just never got its fair shake because it was a portable game. I want the GBA Grand Theft Auto on the Switch. <laughs> Is that any good? I haven't played it. it it's it's like an old top down one that was on the Game Boy. It's it's all right. <laughs> I just think it was funny to put that one on instead. Uh oh, Miss Click, do you play any of the Grand Theft Auto games? No, I just like uh watching streams. Of it. Okay. It's pretty fun. It's not. It's not. It's not Splatoon. She doesn't play that. Yeah. Listen, oh, Sean. Okay. <laughs> We're about to go at it. No, I'm kidding. Um. No, no, no. I just. I. I thoroughly enjoy other people coming up with the random. Uh. Crap that they do. Yeah. Some of the mods are good for it too. One That's day I'll get into it. Probably it'll okay. be something. Do you watch the role play of GTA? Like the people that do the, the role play stuff. I, I hear those people. Yeah. I hear those people are starting to quit. The role playing stuff. Well, on Twitch. Like the everyone. people who run it are, are weird. Yeah, the yeah. people who run it are kind of weird. But I mean, I, I do That's watch the reason why it's a role play service because they're all weird. That's why yeah. I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm more of what I watch sometimes. Pleasure. I watch the role play. There's, there's a guy that I watch sometimes that does it, but I don't really like, to be honest, I don't even really like GTA that much. No, I like the guy that goes around. Uh, I forgot his username. Uh, he goes around as a cop. But he oh, used to yeah. actually be a cop, so he knows all the, all the jargon, and it's mm. hilarious. That's cool. Uh, let me go through some of the super chats here. We got Riku Key 2 saying, can't believe after four years we finally got an update for Final Fantasy VII. They did a good job hiding Tifa. They did indeed. Uh, did, only saw <laughs> her name in the menu. So there's the questions there. Uh, Kurt with a dollar, no message. Thank you. Uh, Miguel just says hi. Hi, Miguel. Hi. Uh, uh, FJ21 with a dollar, no message. Jose, dollar, no message. Uh, Strawman, Strawman yeah, says, uh, Smash Fighters predictions to be announced at E3. I assume, oh, the DLC characters. Any predictions for the next downloadable character that most likely will get announced at E3? Urgic. Yeah. Urgic or Don Urgic Dante. One of those Don two. Dante would be cool. Or, or I don't think they'd go with Nathan, Nathan Adams, which is Yokai Watch, but I still think he might get in. I still mm. think that he has. He might have a shot. Okay. Yeah, Urgic, I have no, yeah, I have no, Urgic. I have no guesses, to be honest, because um, I would have never expected Joker, so... Yeah, yeah, nobody um, saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah say it. Say there's it. There's a couple <laughs> guys. No, <there's> a, <laughs> never saw it coming. <laughs> there was a couple people actually in, in my uh, beforehand. My boy AV um, outside. He actually he's like, "What if Joker's coming?" I was like, "That's never happened." You don't know. He's like, he's like, oh, man, "Well, screw you." <laughs> and then when he came, he oh my god, he went. In, he would not shut the hell about it for like five days. He's like, "I told you, OG." I'm like, "Well, you're a sponsor, so I, yeah, I'm told." <laughs> uh, I just took it. <laughs> uh, Brandon, a uh, dollar. Actually, twice. No message. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, Joe says, what are your thoughts about some of some of Idea Factory's international games on Switch, like Mary Skelter 2, not getting physical releases? Yeah, there was, hmm. He said there was another game, too, that was confirmed to not be getting a they, physical. They don't have the money. I'm, I can speak a little bit about this Mary Skelter 2 thing. Mm -hmm. uh, people are a little upset because the game didn't come over to the West on the PS4 because of Sony's new policy or right. whatever. Um, but the thing about it is like idea fact, they don't have a lot of money. Like the cartridges are expensive. They don't have a lot of money. So, I mean, obviously we'd want it to be physical. That'd be the best way, but like nobody's helping them with this. They're, they're just doing this themselves. Nintendo's not providing them with any of it. So, I mean, I think that's the, the biggest issue because there was a physical copy in Japan, but if you look at the localization and this type of game, it's not going to sell a lot, you know? So I think that's, that's the issue here. Like yeah. I think, I think they, I mean, you never know, but uh, if it sold well, maybe they would revisit that, you know, in the West. So yeah. Yeah, if it did better, or maybe yeah. if they get like a limited, maybe it, it sells okay, then limited run kind of hits. Them and says, hey, 
You guys want to do a physical edition? I mean, we've seen that before with like yeah. Iconic Glass and other games. But Mary Skelter, it's just like a large indie. It's pretty much an indie game. I mean, it's okay. a good publisher, but it's not. It's a PS Vita game to be to be exact. And you get two games though. You get the Nightmares and then you get the Mary Skelter two. So people are a little. Some people are a little upset about that. But I mean, I, I can understand though. I, I understand. Uh, Perez says that's fair. Eighty five. That's fair, Sean. You got to put that on a T-shirt, man. I really do, and big <laughs> if true. Yeah, come on, <laughs> hurry it up already. All right, all right. Uh, you can afford a your pro controller after those sell, right? Maybe, yeah. Oh, man, uh, that's Dave, how you can support it. <laughs> I, I have some ideas for those shirts. You just get a shirt, Sean. That says, "Buy me a pro controller." <laughs> can we get a Game Pass T-shirt too. That. Yes, Game Pass T-shirts for everyone. <laughs> uh, Dave, a dollar, no message. Uh, FJ twenty one says. Uh oh, who's who's going to buy a uh, panty party? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I might. Funny story. Funny story. I pre-ordered. Uh, okay. I, pre-ordered, I, pre-ordered I pre-ordered the for Play Asia the collector's edition. But you won't buy oh, Splatoon. Good. Do you it hear come, yourself right now, Jordan? With a pair of panties. It's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, is that what is that what got you to buy it? You saw that? You're like, yes. You're gonna but wear them, to, right? Listen, I have the Catherine. Though, I have the Catherine underwear, so I need to have the panty party panties next to it on my shelf. Oh, what's gonna God. happen, Jordan? Oh, what's gonna okay. happen, Jordan? All right, like, so I made deal? a promise. I made a promise on on the the, the P podcast that once I hit, if I hit thirty thousand subscribers by the end of May, which I'm not too far off from, that I have to make <laughs> a video reviewing the game. Video? wearing them yes we do <laughs> so if you want i don't know man they don't hands they don't look look that 30K. In the promo you know you know what's you know what's really funny jordan is you uh you're at twenty eight thousand three hundred twenty five subscribers right now and there's over two thousand people here right literally now. I, I imagine people people right wouldn't now. that be a shame right now post it, post <laughs> wouldn't it just suck if everyone here watching who's not subscribed just hit subscribe up until the end of May, then you can unsub. Okay, that would be funny. <laughs> Wait, I kind of want to see. You have to wear them on your head specifically. Uh, I mean, no, 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 I want him. I want him I to feel to the uncomfortableness them. of women's underwear. I, I'll probably rip them. They're probably way too small. I mean, that's a great generalization, though. I mean, I find boxers to be uncomfortable. I love boxers, but then you have what? boxer briefs. You have the the comfort of a boxer yeah. with the support of a brief. <laughs> So I feel like there's I have no stake in there. this, so I can't say anything. Well, no, you All, said women's no. underwear was uncomfortable. I'm sure there's some better cuts out there. You, you <laughs> go to Duluth, you go to Duluth for men, and they keep you boys where this should be in their little pouch. <laughs> oh my god, Man, those are expensive. <laughs> they they are expensive, dude. I'm probably gonna have to do so much blurring in that video. <laughs> because uh, anyway, sensor. thirty thousand powers in other people's hands at this point. Yeah, just, right. don't, just don't get TOS. I mean, yeah. based on the picture, these things don't look like they could hold anything in them. No, definitely <laughs> not. But we uh, go, we go find it's out. Be like a bow tie. <laughs> we go find out. What is it? The collector's edition? Yeah, it's like forty bucks. It comes with some other stuff too. That game is funny and ridiculous by itself. It's 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 just panties that attack each other and shoot each other and whatever. It's a stupid game, funny stupid game. But it comes with a pair of panties, and I think that's hilarious. Okay, I support that kind of collector's editions. Strawman says, uh, "Inkopolis looks like there's space for more DLC story or story DLC." I would hope so. I would love it. Okay. Uh, Lucius, no message. One dollar. Thank you, Scott's game room. Uh, one dollar no message. Matthew Hammond says, "Can we get closed caption for some of the exciting parts on Miss Clicks Direct? Nintendo <laughs> Direct announcements slash YouTube videos. Who is excited for Mario Maker two? <laughs> I think everybody's. I, I assume everybody's excited for Mario Maker two at this point, just because it's going to be. It's going to take when that comes out. It's going to take over YouTube and Twitch for a solid week. Yeah. Uh, I think it could go longer. I think it's going to be huge now. No, but I mean, like, I mean, like that's going to be like for a week. You're going to see nothing but oh. that on your homepage and everything. Mm-hmm. It's just going to yeah, be that." that um it's gonna be something else when that comes out uh because you because nintendo doesn't have their creator program anymore so yep. people will be really all over that yep. uh mystery one dollar no message uh funk doctor says you're all great thank you uh jo- joshua says uh best buys ebay has pro controller open box for 51 dollars sean so we bought 51 dollars <laughs> no excuse expensive. oh that's a lot for an open box I mean, fifty-six dollars on Walmart brand new sealed. Yeah. Oh, okay, even better. There you go. But see, it's only fifty for the arcade stick, and that actually <laughs> has a purpose. So does the Pro Controller. I'm but, telling you, Sean, just look around for arcade sticks because there's so many adapters. You can get like a really good one for another system for probably around that price with the adapter. 
I'm just surprised you haven't had a pro controller this whole time. I figured you would have been one of the first. No, no he's not a pro gamer. Yeah, I'm. I'm well, I, I, I mean, yeah, you're right. So, on the first thing I bought was a pro <laughs> controller with my Switch. I never I got. I never got the the Wii U pro controller either. I, uh, yeah, good point. John handed me a pro controller with my Switch. Yeah, I, I had. I, I had like it, four of them it's over there. <laughs> yeah, it's I've a good controller. Pro controller is a good controller. Yeah, it's a good I, controller. I, I really like I it. I got a Xenoblade one, got a Smash one, and then I got the regular black one. Battery life's like 40, 40 hours on that thing, Sean. Really? 40? It, yeah. it lasts a while, dude. It lasts, I mean, um, check something here. That's not a even a dollar. That's not even an hour for each dollar. Yeah. Ooh, good yeah. point. That is an excellent point. <laughs> the the Wii U Pro Controller lasts like 80 hours. I, yeah. I beat Xenoblade Chronicles X on one charge. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh Mr. Mr. Kane Joe says five bucks towards a carton of Marbreads for RGT85's mom. Happy Mother's Day. Thank oh, you. Sean, he's your nev. <laughs> <laughs> he's my favorite. Uh, so we have uh, a couple things to go over. Uh, I, I keep seeing it pop up in the chat. Does anyone have any comments for the pro Jared controversy before we get into the actual gaming stuff? Not really. I, I no. sad. That's it. I didn't know who he was until like Thursday. <laughs> That's my comment. <laughs> well, what a Thursday for you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask Miss Click, have you seen the uncensored Miss Click? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. So I just wanted to ask the quick. Oh no. What happened this just time? Don't, just don't scroll through Twitter and you're okay. Yeah. I'll say what happened two this things. Time? Oh. I'll if say two things about it. All right. First <laughs> off. Going off what OJ said, bigger than I thought it would be. Got to be yeah, honest. The, with the, second, the, the second angle that came out, Sean, a lot better. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I really didn't have him have him really sized up for that, and you know, good for him. <laughs> what um, are you even talking about? Give me a link right now. I need to see. No, this. you know, no, you, no, you, no, you, no, you no, probably no. get put on a list or something. Um, <laughs> I'll DM, I'll DM you. I'll DM you right now. Okay, I'll DM you. OJ, the real OJ's one here. Click dick pics. God Not damn. again. <laughs> Not again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you know, Yikes. as far as the media, Listen, circus, y'all, there are games about panties. All right, there's there's a lot of. At least the things. panties cover it up. Yeah, at it's least true. it's censored in Japan. Jeez. Is it though? Um, most of the times. <laughs> I mean, the thing of it is, like, if 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 there's shit involved with kids, get the cops involved. If there's shit yeah. involved between him and his wife, get a marriage counselor. You know, there's a lot of armchair quarterbacks with the situation. Of course, we've heard one side of the story. We don't really know all the sides of the story. You know, it, it is what it is. Unfortunately, people are out there that, you know, maybe they're not as good and gleam and clean as they like to put on a facade about, you know. It's, it's difficult. I mean, people put you on a pedestal, though. Right. So, you know, like it, it is what it is. Obviously, it's a hot topic for some people. And if people want to talk about it, they're allowed to talk about it. Okay. If people don't want to talk about it, they don't have to talk about it. So, you know, I hope the best for all parties involved. If there's but if there's any kids involved and shit like that, then, you know, fuck the dude. But, you know, I think the big issue. Well, there's a lot of big issues with this guy. Well, oh, there's some he, big issues. <laughs> but, you know, he disrespected oh, his fan base. He treated them poorly. He exploited mm. them. And he, that's. Aside from his personal life with his marriage and stuff, you know, it's not forgivable of what you did to your fans. You exploited underage people. Yeah. You sent unsolicited nudes to your fans. I mean, that's just an action of a lack of a veteran, a dick. And I mean, that's basically <laughs> the summary of the entire Pro Jared saga. A dick. <laughs> okay. Are we, we're good on Pro Jared then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can I? I finally got one. It's only been like a year now, John, but I finally I just got it in the mail. I just got my dude, my little. Oh, your Eon. Yeah. Oh, no, I just got one. The, the Mark yeah, they're good. I know. You know, what I'm gonna play next week is uh, one of my viewers sent me Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Ooh, I like that one. So Ooh, we're gonna that's, get that that's gonna be a good break stream. dancing Bowser. You got the whole mat and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, they ooh. they went they it's went full out. Does that so. game does that game support progressive scan? Because that I could actually see that being a game that would take advantage of that because it would be interlaced then, and you have like arrows moving up the screen. I have to look at that. I I didn't even Whoosh. think of that till now. Whoosh. I have no idea, John. Well, if it like if it does, it'll make it so that it's not like 
every other line refreshing is the whole image. Oh, like carrying, you mean? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's it'll it should be smoother based. The image should be smoother. And for a game like rhythm based like that, it'll actually it should be it should actually work better then. Got you. I don't I don't know if I have a list here. You probably have one, Sean, on like the wiki page. What's that? The GameCube games that support progressive. Oh, there's a band. lot, dude. There's a lot. What game are we talking about? The the Dance Dance Revolution Mario I, mix. Up? I'm pretty sure it does. Because I was saying if it uh if it supports it and that's like a dancing game where you're trying to time it, that would actually I feel like that would actually help with like timing. Uh, I let's see, Dance Dance. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so if you uh, when you turn it on, misclick with the game yeah. in there, and you hold B on the controller, it'll actually come up and ask you if you want to do progressive scan. And you just say yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So no. any game that supports that, it'll look better through HDMI and everything with that adapter. Sweet. Cool. And it makes it just makes all game games look, and it's easier to stream, obviously. So that's anytime you boot it up, or is it just like a standard? Thing? Anytime you boot it up with that HDMI out on it, yeah, it'll uh, it'll it'll ask you then, and you just say yes. Dope. Yeah, but I would do that. It, it makes it look way better. Dope. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty cool. The that HDMI adapter is awesome. Um, so I'll check that. Out. Yeah, I remember you raving out. about it. So when they sent the second one out, I was like, all right, I gotta do it. Yeah, it, it it makes it look way better. It's easy too. You have the you have the GameCube that has the uh the other port on the back, right? The digital port. Yeah, because I okay. had the one of the first waves. So. Oh yeah, cool. You're good then. Yeah. Um, cool. So let me let's move into some of the stuff that happened this past week. Uh, hey Sean, how about we start with the Rage Two tweet? God, that was so <laughs> many mm -hmm. strange takes on that. Like, can you explain to people what it was real quick? So basically, <laughs> a contributor for Forbes um, did an article talking about how he felt that um, there was a lack of marketing leading up to Rage's release. Um, in a couple days and then um so they tweeted out the article and then the official rage twitter account which if you look at how they talk to people like it's very tongue-in-cheek they replied with like something like lol who are you again and that just that just sent people over the edge like god damn it bethesda they don't <laughs> respect the video game industry or the journalists in the video game industry it's like Man, it's a joke. Like, why, why so? Why are we being so serious about this? Like, you know, that's what some of these companies do. They they find that way to interact with people. And if it was just a one-off thing, then okay, you know, maybe I could understand a bit of disdain for it. But to like see when you see how it's you know been a thing for that Twitter account since you know pretty much its inception, it's like. Why, why are you why are you doing Dude, this? since the walmart leak where they went at and you like their profile picture was like attacking walmart they yeah. went at walmart <laughs> saying hey thanks walmart for opening your fat mouth or whatever like they were they were going at walmart and going at everyone the whole time and that tweet is so harmless who even are you like it's a joke yeah, yeah that, that you should be if you're if you're paul tassi you should roast him back yeah, well, you should have been like, I'm I'm the one doing a better job of promoting your game than you are. He and actually did yeah. that though. He wrote yeah. an article saying Twitter fighting me with Rage 2 turned me into accidental marketing. There you go. And he it worked. Had, like, he actually looked at it and capitalized on it. It Good was just another writer from another website who decided to turn it into a war. <laughs> oh, which writer? I don't know. Yeah, oh. because uh, because <laughs> because the man Paul. who refuses to block me one day, Dang it, one day. I want to be blocked. You didn't block one. you. I mean, he blocked Max for less. I know. I've done. I've tweeted Jason Schreier so many things. Oh, uh, cats out of the back. Ooh, that I feel like <laughs> okay. This is where he's finally gonna block me. Maybe he's, just, maybe he's not block blocked you on purpose just to mess with you, Sean. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I just, I, you know, I, the man says some things that I disagree Maybe with. Maybe he likes and... the YouTube channel, man. Who knows? Yeah, big fan. <laughs> he, he, he hates. <laughs> he hates. <laughs> yeah, he, you can tell he, he hates YouTubers. Oh, yeah, man. because uh, it's, it's squashing on his professional, you know, journalism. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's true. I mean, if we it's... were to ask from the outside perspective, though, like, is it, do we really feel like the advertisement for Rage 2 has been weak? Yes. Or was... Yeah. Absolutely. Really? I mean, at, to its a launch it's release date. To the launch, yeah, like coming up to now, I, I almost keep forgetting that it's coming out. I guess it's true. Right. We think I'll of things there. like the events and the in the uh, like uh, the ads and stuff and like Twitter stuff. But I, mean, I, I thought guess last from outside year, realm. Last year, throughout the year after its announcement, yeah, I, I okay. saw a lot. But this year, especially yeah. the last month, okay. I have Good seen point. nothing on it. Okay, I'll okay. counter you now. 
counter. Uh -oh. We're going to say there's not a lot of marketing for Rage 2. Who here remembers that Team Sonic Racing is out in 10 days? I do because I am a fan. Of <laughs> Me because it's like, oh, I'm not going to get that because Crash Team Racing comes oh, out next month. Have you, not has anyone seen problem. marketing for it? Does, wait, there, does anyone wait, remember which, that which game, game was coming which out? Game, which game? Team Sonic Team Racing. Sonic exactly. Racing. <laughs> it is. It look, and you know, you know who did a great job marketing it when we did talked about the uh, the upcoming best games for the Nintendo Switch in the month of May on RGT eighty five. That was a game that got its chance to shine, baby. Oh, big yes. it's true. What's RGT eighty five sounds like a <laughs> retro gaming tube eighty five. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the biggest problem did they even that... talk about retro games? He used to, but then he <laughs> realized that he would <laughs> limits the a, uh, possibility. Sounds, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of pigeonholes yourself. That bit. sounds so sad. <laughs> he used to. Oh, the good old days. I love uh, running from my past. I think. Well. I think. I think that one actually got hurt, Nate, because it was uh because it was delayed. Well, yeah. I mean, like all the focus on Sonic right now is about the movie trailer. No yeah. about Team what Sonic. A good time, point. <laughs> <laughs> I did forget that was out in 10 days. Did, did you see my tweet that like started going crazy on Twitter? So when I saw Detective Pikachu, they played the Sonic trailer uh, for some reason. Even though they're going to redesign it, they still played the trailer in front of the movie, right? Oh, wow. And when it was done, some kid, like you know, a few rows in front of me, or whatever, says, That's depressing. And the whole theater started <laughs> cracking up. <laughs> It was the best. It was so great. I was like, okay, literally, no one is into this. The no. child has spoken. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, if I a heard... kid says that, like, that's great. A, that, no, that's a movie for kids, and you need to sit down and shut up. Oops, that's right, because no kid movie was ever good. That's what people <laughs> kept telling us on Twitter that week. All kids movies suck. Well, I, I do want to say real quick about the Rage thing. I don't really think a game like that coming out where there's really not a lot of other stuff when it comes to PS4, does it need to be thrown in your face like five million times? I mean, like they've already talked about as, it. Like, as a it's, frequenter of Twitch, it is. It is yeah. thrown in your face five yeah, million well, times. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. This is the core game that people who really want to play this type of game, it's not like, you're not going to go sell it to like the casual, like the mass amounts of people like buy Grand Theft Auto. It's not that type of game. It's going to yeah. sell to the people that are into gaming and it's on who have Twitter or who look at games gaming news somewhat mm -hmm. regularly or who just like drive by and like maybe you might see something so i think the marketing's been okay i think it's fine you don't need to spend a bunch of money throwing it at like, like advertising like super bowl commercial or something like that you, like you don't mm -hmm. need to do that for rage too it's gonna do okay look at like world war z like i didn't even hear about that game and then well, i was that, like oh, million that, sold that got that got twitch marketing though that game grew huge on twitch really fast i know but i but it's not like you heard yeah. a but you didn't hear a bunch about it before no it absolutely not no, and rage 2 sure. is going to have online rage 2 has open world like and rage 2 might be a lot it might be a lot better i mean so i'm that's, that's and, the thing. who's not to quench my thirst and who's not today who's not to say that day one there's going to be like 50 big twitch streamers and youtube streamers it, and everyone who are going to be paid to play it for like a week exactly, oh, exactly. i mean exactly. Much smarter should, about it now. Yeah. should Bethesda probably have a little more aggressive marketing campaign behind it, considering their most recent releases with like Fallout 76 have kind of been failures? It I mean, might just be that, a change in tactics. I don't know if they're, I mean, the tactics don't seem to be working. They have kind of like three consecutive bombs on their hands. Maybe they shouldn't have the budget well, because of how much damage control money they had to spend on uh, mm. Fallout 76. Yeah. Well, they means. spent a lot on Fallout 76. So. They did that. I mean, I think this game, it, it's going to be a good game. I think really the word of mouth and that type of marketing to me, like in today's day, like I think it's a change of tactics, like like Evan was saying, like, because you can just give, you can just pay these streamers to play. And that'd be, if, if you pay a big streamer to play it, there might be 40, 50, 60 people that might go out there and buy the game based on, or even more, right? Like mm -hmm. I think EA, we're talking about they paid Ninja a million dollars to play Apex Legends, you know? So you don't have to spend anywhere near as much to pay popular streamers to play this type of game. And you can probably get a lot of extra sales based on that. So yeah. I think it's just a change of tactics. I, I think mm -hmm. the way that you market the game now, you don't have to wait and everything has to be on the pre-order. People can just buy the game the next day or the day after, you know, when they see somebody else play it and get I their think opinion. Twitch is realizing that too, because they are building their bounty board, which essentially if you don't have access to it yet, you probably will eventually as streamers, as long as you have a, enough uh, viewership and, and pull, You'll get paid anywhere from fifty to hundred, maybe two hundred bucks, just to stream an hour of a specific game. Oh wow, that's, that's cool. Yep. There you go. That's actually pretty cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. My only problem with the marketing is I didn't know the release date. They should have done a better job with the release date. That's Good my point. Only thing. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. You'll know on Tuesday. So I'm, gonna be <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I need I need that that pseudo Borderlands feel until Borderlands. 
that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. I is mean, any, until there... they announced Borderlands 3, it was the game that everyone's like, oh, this is going to like totally take any attention away from a new Borderlands game. Then Borderlands 3 comes out. And everyone's like, oh, Borderlands 3 is coming out. But I hope this will kind of. And then Randy yeah. talked. And then no, Randy no. opened his mouth. <laughs> I mean, I made a really passive aggressive video to Randy right before. Literally said like, stop. That was, that was perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect. And then literally later that night. Uh, gets called out for um, what, what else did he do? Because apparently I missed this. Because he's, present- he's apparently assaulted uh, the Claptrap oh, voice actor. He's avoided uh, he's paying voice actors. Paying voice actors. Are we surprised lying. though? I mean, um, wasn't he cringe enough during the actual presentation for Borderlands? Randy. Like, he also Randy. insulted the pack staff. Like he, he was like, see, this is what happens. We don't bring our own gear. Like he's throwing a hissy fit. He's doing a magic card trick. Like if that wasn't crazy. Listen, enough, I, I was know. there. I was there. Jordan was, was rousing. I was, oh I was live in the theater. It no. was great. It wasn't as cringy being <laughs> there. The magic trick did last a little too long. But when he made that comment, like next time we use our own equipment, when he uh, did use his own equipment on the, on the gameplay reveal in LA, yeah. That went over smoothly. I, I almost yeah. thought he was going to make a comment in that just to be petty and be like, see, when we use our own equipment, shit goes well. <laughs> uh, but oh, Randy. Yikes. Oh, Randy. Oh, Love gosh. the guy. Not really. He's entertaining. Uh, there was an update to that story. I don't know if you guys saw it, but um, apparently there's a, a the co-founder of Gearbox witnessed um, him shoving the guy. So there's like a witness oh, involved gosh. now. So oh. sounds sounds pretty bad. Oh, yeah, he gave him like he like gave him a wet willy. So uh, David, <laughs> David got all pissed <laughs> off. About I it. almost he went to confront yeah. Randy, and then Randy just shoved him back. Like I'll, I'll be honest, it, though. Yeah. I'll be honest. Don't you want to be Claptrap's ass too? I mean, I mean. <laughs> If he's the voice actor for Clash, I mean, <laughs> Clap I mean, Trap's annoying Clap as hell, annoying, bro. but maybe I he mean. was taunting him, talking as Clap Trap, and then he got a little, oh, dude, got I a mean. little pissed. And Hello, <laughs> and then he did something like that. It is, it is, it is dark in the gaming world right now. <laughs> Actually, <Jeez. laughs> I while we're on that topic, we did have a Discord question oh, asking go whether well. or not this whole Randy Pitchford thing has changed anyone' idea, anyone's idea on buying the game. Themselves. See, this this was my thing in the video. I was saying like. Usually this wouldn't affect stuff, but we've seen it on Twitter, how all these companies are getting affected depending on if the CEO or the president or whoever the, the face of it is speaks. Look yeah. at Elon Musk, who out last year, who just kept tweeting about so much stuff, who literally lost so much stuff by the end of the yep. year. Uh, mm-hmm. th- this is looking bad. Like the, the, the diehard supporters of Borderlands going to buy it regardless. They're going to support yeah. the game, but they're not going to yep. support Randy. and They're not going to support what he says. But I do think that especially if these allegations are true and all that stuff, this is like Randy. I do not a, after the release of Borderlands Three. I, I almost made a second video discussing all this after those allegations came out. This is like one of the final nails on the coffin. There's too much bad publicity going off of so much good publicity. It's like wow, Borderlands Three. Damn it, Randy spoke. Wow, Borderlands yeah. Three. Damn it, Randy tweeted and went on overboard and and started harassing Game Informer for no reason. Like <laughs> it, 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 it just becomes a constant, constant issue. And if he is at the company, if he is still at the company, if Two K and Take Two or still want anything to do with them after Borderlands 3 is out and done, I will be officially surprised because well, this think, is not a good look for them. It's kind of, I mean, the situation with David Eddings is that he came out and he said, don't punish the people at Gearbox for the actions of the crazy CEO with Randy. Yeah. He doesn't want people to boycott the game. He wants people to understand that Randy is insane, that he's yeah. an asshole. Agreed. And I mean, David isn't just the voice actor of Claptrap. He was a vice president at Gearbox from like mm-hmm. 2005 to 2017. So he's he worked just, with Randy. He knows he's, he's arrogant. Out. Yeah, but it's also been pointed out that Randy has possibly done things to basically take money that his employees it's were supposed to be getting. Well, so there's that's been known since Alien, since Aliens, Colonial Marines came out. Marines, he was siphoning yeah. money to their project because that was more important to him. And now he's taking money from like pensions. So, I Yo. mean, that's what David right. wants to know. Randy is a piece of crap. Don't punish the company for Randy. And I want you to okay. I want you to go back and watch uh I talked about my video, but like go back to the 2009, 2008 E3s and listen to this young Randy excited about Borderlands this year. He was a sweaty, like nerd mess. Like he's just like, yeah, the game's gonna be great. He's really nervous and he had passion and like for the game he was making. And now it's like such a different person. Like when 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 Borderlands one was a success and the money kept coming in, Borderlands two and all the money kept coming in, it's like all these other controversies, it just became a different person. And now with this missing $12 million that got siphoned into his bank account and not for the employees' bonuses, I mean, that's a problem. Randy 
Let's get your shit together, my friend, or just shut up. Just stop tweeting. That's all you got to do. Just get off and Twitter. That's, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Just 2K is going to come in and say, we, you can make a Borderlands 4 under condition Randy shuts the hell up. If Randy tweets, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna stop something with this contract. Because I guarantee, actually, <laughs> from what I've heard His son could probably handle it better. I mean, 2K, yeah, PR is pissed. 2K PR is pissed with Randy. Absolutely. The problem is it's costing them way too much money to silence him. They saved, They have said to him, shut up. But he keeps doing it. If I mean, they can't I'll, rein him in, that's a bigger issue. Yeah. At what point, though, are we going to... Is I don't know, because a lot happened, too, because like the whole Captain Marvel thing popped up, too. you know, And that affected a lot of people as well, with mm -hmm. one person opening it up. And it's like, at what point are we just going to see it for the product and not for the person um who doesn't represent the entirety as a whole you know but then like part of me make wants to go like um people didn't even get paid for this project or like they're they're missing like livelihood from this project and yet i'm gonna buy it like are we gonna make sure that justice is served in a way you know it's at what at what point is this the line too far that's such a a hard thing to as the consumer to fully worry about like as much as like to the average person Who's just going to buy the game? Not really up to date on this. They don't care. And then the game, the majority of the sales, they're not going to care. But to like us and the people in the chat or vocal people on Twitter about this, it is going to be a big deal. And there's probably going to be a lot of talks of that online. And the only way that this is either going to get solved is if Daddy 2K or Take Two jump in to, yeah. to really, you know, daddy up. Be like, all right, Randy, it's time for you to be grounded for a little bit. And we're going to set some ground rules here. If you want to keep making the money you're making, if you want to do the stuff that you want to do, it's our turn to, to really control the ship. Because it really seems that Gearbox, especially Randy on their own, kind of just is doing things the way he wants to do and not the way things probably should be done. If you're not mm -hmm. paying your people what they deserve for the hours they're working yep. for the great game, if they've spent five plus years making Borderlands 3 and the stuff they've shown is incredible and it's a day filled with celebration for you to get on Twitter that night and negate everything that happened, for you to go and slander and attack someone who made an article just saying, hey, uh, technically this is a microtransaction because it's a small purchase. That's the exact same terminology, just worded different. And then you blow up. All you had to do, Randy, to fix it, you just had to either put out one tweet or have the gearbox twitter go hey here's a correction on what we spoke about before this means this sorry for the confusion and it would have not been a big deal no one would have cared and guess what you, the day would have been saved thanks to the powerpuff girls all right it would be fine <laughs> everyone would be talking good but no everyone has to talk about randy now the narrative is now randy 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 instead randy! of borderlands but randy yeah all right that's all i gotta say randy got it <laughs> being a uh yeah so let's uh let's move on to final Fantasy 7 remake i separated it from state of play because i mean let's be hmm. real that that saved state of play for a lot of people you don't want to play away i no no medieval what's wrong man with state of play <laughs> what the hell you got predator okay yeah. that game's gonna kick ass is it people delivery. people have a bit of people have a bit of fear for it because the team behind it didn't exactly do well with the last one i mean really friday the 13th was it fun was it good no it, it kind of fell apart as buggy as hell and i think they had to stop making it because they were sued it's coming to the switch and you know what i'm gonna get it again <laughs> i had uh, i dude i spent so Sean. much damn time playing friday the 13th with friends like it's just it was so satisfying and and you gotta figure now they have like a budget now they have actual money to work mm. with whereas you know with friday the 13th they obviously didn't but you got that you got little rabbit squirrel guy with mm -hmm. a way that looked <laughs> cool you know that looks uh, well, i'm actually excited for you know yeah. what? Let's just, let's just, let's say just, it was cute let's just let's just talk about state of play first then since sean's yes. going off here Sorry. okay sean. <laughs> so that game looks cool kind of uh -huh. reminds me of deadly creatures you medieval. had uh, medieval medieval mm -hmm. looks awesome medieval does look very good. Look good i'm, I'm, I'm ready for that, for that i mean i agree it was a 12 minute thing like the two the two duds in the presentation were you know a, here's a new state of play ps4 it and was then, a ps4 slim too what is that about yeah, who the, they probably was just a pro some, they probably just had some left over and they're trying to clean them out uh. <laughs> and um and then you know the indie game was you know just it was an indie game it looked okay-ish but like that was comparative <laughs> To the first state of play, this was night and day. I loved. I agree. State of play, I loved yeah, the state of play. Good. I it was great. But I, I think the biggest thing with this, like the state of play, so it, it just all depends on the content. I, I think the format's yeah. fine, but I think people are looking a little bit too much into these late state of plays at the end of the generation. PS Five. That's they're just setting it up for that. That's when these state of plays are actually going to be good. 
people are just, mm -hmm. just compared it to the trash state of play that we got the first time. But I'm not looking at it that way. I'm looking at the format and saying, okay, when the games actually come, like the next God of War and the next Horizon, that's when state of play is actually going to be good because this thing is driven by games. There's, yeah. there's, there's, it's lifeless. This thing is like a ro like damn robot. A focus group made this thing for Sony. Like this is a lifeless presentation that just goes through these things. It has no personality. That's fine right. if they want to do it that way. Right. But I mean, at the same time, like you have to have better games. If you don't have good games, then it's going to be bad. So no, compare that's the, it, the state of play to fine. the last one. Compared to the last one, they are learning. I called this when they said they're not going to E3 that, yeah, they're going to start copying Nintendo doing these, you know, yeah. like Nintendo Direct type videos. And maybe it shouldn't be as much like, hey, once a month, maybe it should be every couple months or whatever to yeah. actually have some more to show, right. uh, not just like a quick 12 minute slideshow. But like the last one, there was the first one was like all VR and there was no like big it thing to talk about. It wasn't, yeah. But this one, they had a stinger at the end. No one was ready for. No one thought for that random state of play was gonna be like, all right, here's the ending. Well, Final Fantasy. Well, I mean, they Predator wasn't say. at the ending though. No, they Predator no hold up. I'm not talking about oh, Predator. We're talking about Final they, that, that game. Relax. I think they delivered it wrong to be honest though, because like they could have just like ended it, like done a Nintendo thing, kind of like ended it and then had it yeah. fade in. They're like, that would have been really that. cool. They're like, instead, here's a title we know you've been waiting for for a while. And you're like, oh, what could it possibly be? Uh, oh, it could have it, it it just faded out and then come in. And then you have been like, whoa. No, you know? it could have been it could have been a release date for The Last of Us 2 or Death Stranding. Both That's games don't have release dates. We're gonna we're gonna a lot of people one. expected those to yeah, possibly but I just be think release you don't dates have in to there. Talk so, through it. Like, here's the game you've been waiting for. So, <laughs> I'm predicting. At E3, we're going to get a state of play that they're doing their own to kind of take attention away from E3 yeah. since they're not there. And they're going to try to get as much attention as possible for that. And at the end of it, yeah. they're going to announce Last of Us 2 as October release date. And that's, that's, and, that's, and that's what's going to be a that. stinger. I will and they're, they're going to say the same thing. I will it's a game you, we know you're Sean's, excited for. I will bet you Sean's Pro Controller, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. Inside information? I What? <laughs> I don't. I don't think Last of Us Two is coming out this year, dude. Because they just finished the mocap stuff, right? So I think that's like that's, next year. That's actually my problem. A bit of my problem with State of Play is because none of them were here. Like none of their first party stuff. I'm pretty confident none of it's coming out this year. Yeah. Like Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. Death Stranding, Last of Us Ghost Two, never coming out. It's that's, well, that's it's all crazy be, though. Because it's, it's going to launch with next gen then, and just be like compatible with the PS4, kind of like they did with Wii U Switch. Either that, or they'll throw it in the shed with Deep Down, and they'll just well, be hanging out together. I mean, we're probably going to see all of it. <laughs> Deep probably down. at the PlayStation Experience at the end of the year, and that's probably where they'll talk about the PS5 uh, some more anyway. But like, man, when I when I realized that they weren't showing any of that, I, it was it was a little sad. Oh, that means that you don't think they, they showed have? Predator. Oh. Okay, okay, relax there, buddy. You still Who think is? there's a chance they come out, Nate? But it's not like because I feel like they would want to start marketing and everything for those big games soon. I mean, I don't think Ghost ever had a chance in 2019. I think that was always slowly for 2020. The problem mm -hmm. with The Last of Us 2 is we kind of just saw, like, yeah, they just finished the final yeah. vocab sequences. So yeah. let's say even if, so far, anytime Sony has actually dated a holiday game, it's always been delayed till spring. So let's just assume that's going to mm. what's gonna happen with The Last of Us Part 2 this year. Mm. That Stranding, I think, has the best chance of being their holiday 2019. I thought so, too. Mm -hmm. Like an October release, it won't be November. Damn. But they, like, they still wouldn't have had to date those until June. June. But they're they not going to be at E3. No, but it doesn't stop them from having a state of play two weeks after E3. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, they said they wouldn't be active at all around E3, but they could still do that. You're right. Doing afterwards, I, I think Sony's trying to not have to rely on like this, you know, like like E3 for be all end all. Especially after the last few E3s. They can't, yeah. Yeah, like it's just like they haven't really done it right. I think state of play, like I said, it's going to be dope when the PS5 comes out. They're just sending it up so we're used to it. So by the time PS5 comes out, it's like all right, here's another state of play, bam, and it's just going to be. But the format's fine. Everything's fine with it, but wait till PS5 comes. That's what I'll say. People who are hating on it right now, like wait till PS5 yeah. comes out. Wait till they get the the, the bigger third. There's going to be third party. You know, there's going to be third party game reveals. And it's like huge first time ever third party reveals at these things. And it's going to be a lot better just because of the quality or the quality of the games. But Sony's already, they're geared up. They're ready for, guys, they're, they're done with PS4. PS4 is done. They, they can have release dates for these games here and there, but at the, it's PS5 now. They're, they're moving on. So, yeah. I just wanted to play Last of Us 2. You guys got to break my heart. And mm -hmm. yeah. That's going to be, be PS5 bit. enhanced. It's they're going to tell you to yeah. buy a PS4, then play it on your... They're, they're going to tell you to buy the game, then uh, buy a PS5. It's going to get some extra... It's going to be like enhanced in some ways or something. Or like it is, that, is going to be interesting, though, when they have like those bigger games coming out, and it's like you're going from Horizon Zero Dawn, like you said, to uh, the next Spider-Man and stuff, mm -hmm. and that rather than indie game to indie game or something, you know? Ooh, mm -hmm. I get chills thinking about it. That would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And they're like... God of War, God of Thor... 
Oh. Yeah, tune oh, in for spoiler? no spoilers. No, yeah. the documentary just came out last night, guys. All right, still haven't beat it. You're not missing much. Yeah, you already know. You already know. <laughs> if you've even started the game, you already know. Oh, I already know. Yeah. But when they yeah, once right. they start once they start saying tune in for a state of play for about it's me about twenty five minutes, then you know things are getting serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Ooh. Do you though? Ooh. Sony's a master at marketing. They're a master of hype. They could are have they? shown you literally nothing in the state of play, but Final Fantasy VII, and people would have been saying, this is the greatest Are they the master of hype? Because all I remember from Sony is... <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> people walk away from that E3 and be like, man, look at all these awesome games. They went to an E3 where they had Shenmue 3, The Last Guardian, and Final Fantasy VII in 2015. People said it was the greatest E3 conference of all time. <laughs> and that accounted for about 5% of it. The rest of it was trash. Yeah, but then they showed up what was they showed up to the one where they had people going between tents and people said it was terrible. That was last year, I think. When that, that was, was last year. Yeah. They between really different had, buildings like, and stuff. Okay, okay but it think was like about a that. Sports panel in the middle of my E3. Like, dude, I don't care. <laughs> Just give me the video. I mean, look yeah, at the E3 2015. They showed Final Fantasy VII, Shenmue 3, and The Last Guardian. Only one of those games is out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they play it, but they play it on people's nostalgia and like their their, their time is horrible. Games. Yeah, and that's master that's masterful marketing. They're they hype excited about this system to buy it for these games. Did I hear Predator? Sean, Sean you're you're <laughs> really interested in Predator, man. Look, has there ever been a good Predator game? No. A, a alien. Wait, 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 wait. There was one on the original Xbox that people really liked. I thought that game got like ones and twos. It was. I disgusting. thought people liked that game for some reason, or was it just that it's valuable because it was semi rare? It's, yeah, it's that dude. That game is fucking. Broken. Oh, that action. Yeah, no, that game. Yes, crazy. that game is horrible. <laughs> and like Alien vs Predator in the arcade is a classic. The mm -hmm. SNES version is really good. There was the classic PC game that was supposed to be really good, yeah. like really in depth. The, the Predator had like thirty buttons on the keyboard you had to use to control them. It was nuts. You had, you had AVP <laughs> on the um. On the, uh, the Jaguar. Jaguar, yeah, which is a you know a really fun game where you play as Predator, Alien, or a Marine, but really only the Marine plays good. So I'm happy to see the Predator get a chance. I hope Danny I Glover is in it as well, and I hope that there is an LA setting in the game as well. And it would be fun. I, I just want to see what they can do because if it's just limited down and it feels exactly the same as all the Dead by Daylights and the Friday the Thirteenth games, that's not going to be that interesting because this is it's a huge thing. The Predator IP is huge, and I'd love to see the drastic amount of stuff you can do. I, I think. You're gonna be playing that on your PlayStation 4 Pro, Evan. Probably I not. think I think they're gonna do it uh, because when you're messing with the Predator, you have to do things that like the Predator does. When I mean, when you look at Jason Voorhees, you know he's a slow, clunky guy who can get from area to area you, and kill you. you. Send, if you're the Predator, you send pictures to people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sean, Sean, read read read, uh, read Google Chat. I thought we were. <laughs> Wait, who's making Evan? I th I don't know if that's coming to PC. I think that's a PlayStation Four exclusive. That's fine, but like I'm not I'm not super excited. I, if if it looks amazing, if they show off some great stuff about it, I'll probably be happy. But if it's just kind of like you have to jump around to quick time areas where you'll sit in a specific branch and you have the shoulder cannon, the spear, and like the regular blaster, and you got to deal with things. It's like there's so much more he can do from all the videos, from all the lore. It was so um, great. There was. Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands had a Predator um, mode for yeah, um, like a couple mission. weeks. That mm -hmm. was fun as hell. So I mean, People I can I can, awesome. I can see this being a, a good game if they do it right for sure. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was so calm and I was so disappointed. Yeah, I thought oh, it was. Oh, yeah, there. I was like, wait <laughs> a minute. <laughs> now that's yeah. next day I, to play. I yeah. thought it was. I was like, oh, so calm, so calm. They're like Predator. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got flashbacks of Evolve. That's why I was like, I don't know. But at yeah, least there was man. people from Friday the 13th. So. Evolve was, you, oh my God, that game. Mm, that like 5,000 pieces of DLC day one. Day. <laughs> <laughs> the deal, well, the DLC was basically all microtransactions. If you, yeah. if you played it for a little bit, it was kind of fun because of what you could do, but they, it was limited Did and buggy as hell. The servers for that? They went free to play. No mm. one went back to it, and then they shut it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it couldn't uh, even evolve into a good game. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember there was so much hype around that game. Um, Ghost Robo was playing it so much. I was watching it. And it seems really cool. It's fun to watch if somebody wants to, you know, play it. But, I mean, I, th I guess it's dead right now, right? You said the, no, the, the servers are off, so. Yeah. That's a PS4 and Xbox One game. Yep. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Final Fantasy VII Remake. It closed it out. And it was, it was kind of interesting because... I looked better than the last time we saw it visually. People did comparisons. It definitely looked better. Um, it but... looked better, but 
we still only saw the first area of the game. <laughs> and there's a reason for <laughs> that. <laughs> Third one. It, it looks like it is going to be episodic. No, it is. Yep. Yep. It, they they confirmed that it is. It's, yep. it's episodic. I'm just going to wait. I'm not even going to play it. Well, with the here's my wait. question about this. Uh, is it episodic in the sense that it's going to be literally Final Fantasy VII and then a subtitle? Or is it going to be like they're going to make Final Fantasy VII into three different games like they did with thirteen? The Telltale series. No, like Final Fantasy thirteen, how it's three <laughs> different games, you know, like yeah, returns. It's, it's going to be like Telltale. Here's going to be, here's the Midgar chapter. Now here's walking around the world. Now it's, here's it, the end. It's going to be episode like one, episode two, episode three. I think they're just, they're going to make it, they're going to, so it's going to be clean. So it's not going to be like Final Fantasy seven you know, Midgar super boss or something, you know, so I, I think they're just going to name it Final Fantasy seven episode one. And mm -hmm. then they're going to go up to like maybe three or four. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Cause I, I was thinking about it. I was thinking back on, it, I was like, they can't split it up. Cause originally I was like, Oh, maybe they'll split it by the discs, you know, like disc one, disc two, disc three, but disc three was so much shorter than disc one. So I don't think they can do that. No, no, they just have to. They're just, they're just reworking to... this thing completely then. Yeah. yeah. Like completely. I think they, they took too long. In my opinion, it should have just been PS three. They probably could have got everything. Uh, and on um, one Blu-ray, you know, but now they mm -hmm. can't even wait. I, guess I don't that's... think anybody wants episodic. I, I'm, I don't no. know anybody who wants it. There are Not people that, that are thinking episodic and saying that they what? think it's a good idea. Yeah, there, there are. There are, there are I, content creators. I saw that, that actual defense. I saw it on Twitter. They're like, oh, I don't have a lot of time to play games. So by doing episodic means I'll actually be able to play it, which to me just means why don't you just play the full game? You know, if you only have two hours a week, you play those two hours. Why is it being episodic? Yeah. And the and the you trick is more time to finish a sixty-hour game. And the trick is with episodic, it's coming out at almost the same pace as full-fledged games and time. So like you just have See, the time I anyway. Think, I think the full game is going to be done, and they're just going to say, "Here's part Ooh, one." You think so? Three oh, months, man. five months later, here's part two. It's it's still going to release within like a year and a half. It's not going to be we have to wait two years. Here's, to the, next it just here's the to me like they're not ready. Here's the yeah. other question: yeah. Is it are all three parts, four parts, whatever? Are they all going to add up to sixty bucks? Or are they going to add up to like hundreds of dollars? Sixty a piece, baby. Oh man! <laughs> no, I guarantee yeah, they, you need, it's gonna be 60 they need a to piece. recuperate this uh, this cost of how many yeah. times they had to start making it over again. Over no, again. let oh, me man. tell you the reason why it's going to be sixty a piece. They have to because this cost of this game is absolutely incredible because they've been working on it for quite some time. They've been doing tech tech stuff for this game dating all the way back to the PS3 era. That's the beginning with the tech demo. This is going to be sixty dollars a piece. I Ooh. I think it is. I don't think they're going to go anything lower at fifty, and then maybe if, depending on how many pieces there are. But I think it's going to be sixty. How, a piece. how much do you think they're going to pad each episode to try to justify the price to be like, oh, but it, it's like a forty-hour game of aren't like they grinding adding, and nonsense? Aren't they adding the PSP game into it as well? Like the, that, was, that was rumor that they were going to take elements of it, like Genesis. And and Geo and add in their backstories to flesh Dude, out. Yes, like, you know, up. you know, they're gonna just take the Advent Children movie and just shove it in there just to pat it out. <laughs> well, I was hoping they would do flashbacks to like Crisis Core and everything. They're just gonna That'd be cool. Shove it out. I but, love like, that. It, that was such a good PSP. Game. Is it confirmed three parts? No, no, there's no confirmation. It just says multi part. The only thing that's confirmed is it's going to be a multi part series, and I think that oh, they'll you know, milk it to five. They've done this before, like with Final Fantasy 13. Like Final Fantasy 13 didn't need to be three games. <laughs> that that whole trilogy of games, Final Fantasy 13. Hey, is stupid. She returned, man. She came Lightning back. Lightning Returns <laughs> could have been a corner of the Golden Country. That game is idiotic. And they it's a whole new game. No, you're padding and you're trying to get 60 bucks because you guys spent millions upon millions getting Final Fantasy 13 and you want to recuperate your cost. But they they drug that out to three games when literally like 13, Lightning Returns could have just been DLC. That game is so mm. dumb. What with, with padding I, and ridiculousness. The weird thing with seven, like I love seeing the trailer. It was exciting. Yeah. I still I just do not like the way they're going with the combat system. I don't like this Final Fantasy 15 combat system direction. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I see. I saw it like uh, it kind of. I mean, it's, it's kind of. I guess it kind of is like 15. I was looking at or, it. Or like Kingdom Hearts. I mean, it was reminding me a bit of Kingdom Hearts mixed with Crisis Core. Yeah. It's so everyone can. Get I was getting it. a bit of Crisis Core out of it. They you didn't mean, have the real slot time machines? versus like turn based. Yeah. Twice? Yeah, because it's definitely On real time. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's trying to be that. competitive for modern. I mean, yeah. the yeah. turn-based yeah. stuff uh, never feels like it's now. It it's more always niche. feels retro. It's more niche. Yeah, games I, are a lot longer because of it. I mean, I get they're going after the mass market with it. It's just, yeah. it's going to, this is why they always said they didn't want to remake 7, is because the changes necessary to bring it to the modern console is going to 
splinter the base. Yes. Yeah, right. they, they said even a minor change would piss at least yeah, 80 yeah. percent of their base. I mean, even just like a Pokemon with the random encounters. I mean, I, I, I think because I know people talk about oh, you know, spoiler culture surrounding Final Fantasy VII. I'm I'm taking this game as basically everything that we know Final Fantasy VII to be. The core may be the same, but events, how they take yes. place, where they happen, are going to be completely I, different. I, so I got to bring this up now because you're going to see it online. How old is this game right now? Like Final Fantasy VII. It is, it is quite old, right? It's like 20, 20, 22 years? Yeah. 20, yeah. 97. Don't yeah. tell me about it. I don't want spoilers. So, old. so yeah. So I, I talked about the major event that happens on the first disc, by the way. And people... <sighs> said that i spoiled the game for them no that that's bs don't listen to that that's, that's absolutely ridiculous i spoiled the game All for right, them. I spoiled god of war don't be here for spoilers Someone's so, gonna spoil, game. spoil spittoon what so do you know what i did i said okay let me let me just take that that tweet down just to be nice and then i go over and i realize it's on everything right i'm like wait a minute you could play this game on your cell phone so i went over and what did you i can't find spoil a game that's like decades old though like that's well, someone's fault for not finding for not getting it themselves what did i find on the android shop page for final fantasy 7 a picture of Aerith dead <laughs> what it's right there it's what? right oh, wow. there well, I mean, it, it, well, i've never beat it marketing is that you don't know what you know if cloud's holding her you don't know what led if to that scene i didn't i didn't say yeah. what led to it i just said it happened yeah, but, like it's just a picture of him carrying a woman no, you she's in the water. She, she's in the water. She's she swimming. She's swimming. In the water. Dude, she's I had someone teaching her how to swim. The game for me while I was yeah. playing Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I don't feel bad for people. Like it's Kingdom my fault for not playing spoiled? it all the time. What? You can't spoil, spoil a game that's like twenty something years old. Man. You can't spoil Kingdom Hearts if you try because no one knows what's going on. Well, no, 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 I'm saying I was playing it and they saw the second her character first appeared. They literally said something to her about her not being at the bottom of the lake, and I was like, "All right, well, thanks." I mean, I don't think the scene's gonna play out the same in Final Fantasy VII. I don't think it is either. It's gonna be completely different. You're just gonna uh, be re-experiencing it. it, it it's not gonna way. be Mortal Kombat 11 fatality type thing of her spine being shot. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh, her. Yes, she's vomiting out blood. And Wait, he, like ha ha. ha. Let me ask you guys a question though i want to bring this up you guys remember back in the day all the different uh rumors about oh, being yes. able to save eric yes. do yes. you think that they add an option yeah, i, do. I yes. think that they're yes. going to add an option to save her. they are user. yep and that will make the that whatever go ahead and make it episodic if, yeah I, you're forgiven if they do that they're <laughs> forgiven for this for this crap being episodic okay yeah <laughs> So I, I think they will do that, though. I think they will do all kinds of fan service in this game. They have to, or yep. I'm rioting. I think Someone they will. Someone's going to cut her in half for real. No. They are going to yeah. do all kinds yeah. of stuff to appease fans. It's going to be ridiculous. All so. actually, violent. I mean, the one fatality turn, <laughs> the Final Fantasy VII was so campy. You're going to yeah. lose a lot of that nonsensical humor they that can't, the they can't like, use half the there. dialogue in that game yeah, you're not gonna have cloud squat to get the wig out of the guy's jock strap <laughs> why not <laughs> that, that's not gonna like that's not gonna happen you're probably not gonna have the whole scene with tifa and Aerith in the mansion where they're gonna get oh, there, there are so many scenes, scenes that cannot be in this game the ferris wheel scene's not gonna happen it'll be a whole new experience for me i have no idea any of this stuff happened i um said what yeah this is gonna be they're great gonna, they're gonna they're gonna all they're gonna alter some things they're gonna make especially with sony's new policies yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a it's, scene I was talking about where Cloud just outright beats Aerith for like yeah, five like, minutes. Jesus Christ. Not, what, what is this game? Is she I'm telling you. or something? He's yeah, like trying to he, beat the spirit out or something? Uh, yeah. like, what? He, he actually becomes possessed technically. He goes oh, crazy and okay, then just picks well, her up and just starts beating her. Like okay. just straight up I thought you meant like he just was like, you know what? I'm pretty no pissed off and just started hitting her. I mean, <laughs> that's basically what happened because like oh. it, it, the whole time through he's having issues, right? And he just picks her up and just starts punching her in the face. And if you never do anything, like you don't go down there and stop him, he'll just he'll just beat her for like hours. Wow. <laughs> you time can just let it keep happening. Like you just leave the dialogue bubble up. And just... Time to put out a tweet that <laughs> exposing this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Pink Kotaku. laughs> but everybody knows Cloud's been a douchebag for a while. I mean, I think everybody knows that Cloud's an emo douchebag, to be honest. But he got so. smashed. He's wearing a turtleneck tank top. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> So with the, I am with the metal piece sticking like bolts. Doesn't sticking even out of make sense. Yeah. No, so no. I'm I'm just I'm curious how they're gonna deal with some of those uh, scenes. That's all. Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, with a good translation, 
it's going to make sense some of the context that the original translation was so bad that people didn't even understand what certain scenes was supposed to be shown. I know. <laughs> and so, I mean, that'll help a little bit. But I think we actually saw one of the changes in the trailer because it ends with Sephiroth looking at Cloud saying, you know, can you bear to see the planet suffer? And that looks like it's probably the first bombing mission. Yes, so that's that what I thought be, too in the village. Like, yeah. In the first bombing mission, you see Cloud stop and he has that thought like, oh, this isn't a normal reactor. Mm, so yep. is that going to be that sequence now replaced with Sephiroth kind of giving him a line from maybe later in the game that we saw, reminding him of, like, I won't spoil the original game. <laughs> <laughs> when they, the when they go to the reactor though. with Tifa and everything, and, you know, when Sephiroth finally realizes he's just, you know, a science experiment and kill but that's, everybody. But that's probably not going to, but that's probably not what's going to happen here. Unless people are actually going to go back and play the original, I bet you half the stuff that we would say right now won't even happen the same way in this no, one no, coming no. up. No. Oh. They'll be like me and they'll just wait for comparison videos. Yeah, because people are going to do that a lot. It's gonna. I think it's going to be very different, actually. It's going to be a completely yeah. different game, in my opinion, just with similar named characters, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be the same setting. You know, it's yeah. going to have the core ideas of, you know, Mako Energy, Genova, Sephiroth, and all that. It's just all the sequences aren't going to be the same. I just, yeah. I can't believe, I, I'm honestly surprised that some people did not see, like, the most iconic moment in games. Like, I'm honestly surprised by that. Well, because it's kind of, it's weird. Because, I mean, if you play Final Fantasy VI, the same basic thing happens with one of their main characters, and no one cared. It wasn't yeah. a big deal. Final Fantasy VII happens. Oh, my God. The Phoenix down didn't bring her back. It's because it was in 3D, and they, yep. yeah, yeah that, that's first why. Final Fantasy yeah. game. That's, yeah. that's why. Yeah, it was PlayStation. I mean, PlayStation sold way better. It was just 3D RPG at the. You guys were all, well, maybe not Miss Clips. She's 12, but you guys were all alive, like, during that time. <laughs> Everyone, during, is, anyone who's not your age is 12. Okay. During that time period, no, you guys don't. know how big this game was and how everybody was just like, because of, of like the 3D and everything. It was just like, it was something else. It was like a cultural event. So everybody saw the scenes they, from it, you know? And they, they changed, I mean, they, it was, it was really sad. And like, I, I, if I remember right, I, I think that's how they ended the first disc, I believe. But I think yeah. it just faded off in the darkness and it was like, mm -hmm. change disc one. And you're just sitting there in your room, you know, CRT TV at the edge of your bed. And you're like, <laughs> oh. Falling in the fetal position. It, yeah. So it was, that was, it was, it was tough, man. Sean, I mean, why are you crying at this video game? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I didn't play it at my house. I played it over at my buddy Compton's house. Oh, oh it's even worse. It was quiet, man. You know, it was quiet in that room when that happened. Yeah. All right. Was it? I, I was very upset when it happened. And I, <laughs> and I went home and asked my brother, why did it happen? And he said, because it happened. Oh, like, this game is trash. <laughs> <laughs> this game is trash. I'm going to go buy hey. a copy of Mordor and keep it sealed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shadow of Mordor in 1997, guys. <laughs> I went home and asked my brother, why did she die? And he, he couldn't give me an answer. And he just walked away. It was like an anime scene or something. <laughs> there, are, there are other scenes that no one ever spoils in that game, too, that are later on that are like that. That scene is there's, like there's six scenes. or seven. That's not that long in either. It's I like mean, seven hours in or something. But there's sequences earlier in the game that are like equally impactful. Yeah. I mean, the whole going up Shinra Tower, it, it's creepy as hell. The music mm -hmm. gets all tense, and you're like, what's going on here? And oh, the music in that game was awesome. I hope they redo a lot of the music, like they make will. it a bit more modernized. They have to, yeah. But they had to keep it still kind of this, oh, that music, some of that music was amazing. What about a music shifter that all these remakes are doing? Where you can go between the old and the new. I would like that, actually. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Or like new arranged tracks. Like, you know how Smash Brothers like arrange some of the Persona stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, they, like, that would be dope if they just had a bunch of cool new arrangements. I'd love that. Uh, let's go through some of the super chats where we talk a bit about Nintendo at E3. Uh, Trevor Voss just says, who me with a question mark. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, fish fan says hashtag pro for RGT. Yes. I get one. I'm get looking on at someone phone. eBay right now. eBay. <laughs> God, <laughs> dude. Just go buy it. But there's a some... Amazon has a prime shipped, right? For like fifty something dollars. But Good. there's some nice cheap ones for like thirty two dollars. RGT, bro. China. Seriously, all you gotta do is just buy the controller and just make a video about the controller and you just make all your money back. Tax <laughs> right off. Tax <laughs> right off. Yeah, dude. Sean, do a video and be like, I was wrong about the pro controller. Yeah, I was <laughs> wrong. And then just you holding it like what? No, no, you gotta go, you gotta go like this. But what if I was right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's the and question. Let's do was I right or about the <laughs> mm, like that, one. It doesn't matter. Let's see, I like that angle a bit more. Now, now it's a little more enticing. And then you put hashtag pro for RGT in there, and you're good to go. <laughs> we'll uh, consider it. Okay. Uh, hey, Jay says, I just want to hear you say my name's Spawn Wave. What's going on, Jay? How's He's going? drunk right now. I don't, I don't uh, know if he's still in here. Drinking but... that wine. <laughs> yeah, he messaged me. He was like, I found this bottle of wine at my parents' house, and they said I could have it. <laughs> that dude would be drinking wine like water sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, like a, a college dude. girl. Uh, <laughs> Andy Andy says, uh, Fringe is that weirdo who doesn't have a, clo a, cl oh. a closet. What's oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, what? Jordan yes. doesn't have a closet. We found this out on my podcast. Apparently, it's such a big deal that my place doesn't have a closet. <laughs> so you said like not... a you said like a wardrobe. Yeah, I have three war wardrobes on this wall that have like the cool like, IKEA clothes. ones. Yeah, it's like a nice some Swedish setup. I don't know, but it's cool. How do you not have a closet? What the hell? I don't know. All right, leave me alone. You're actually You're actually the closet. You got the place for a good deal. All right. It's good. Good deal. Good. Good area. Just got no closet. All right. <laughs> Jesus. I love this. God I love damn it, it Andy. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> oh, Andy. M uh, Miguel says, do you think do you guys think they will port Fatal Frame 5? I wish they would because that was a mm. really good game. I'd rather than just make a good Fatal Frame, like a new one. I'd be down for a new one. Okay, you got that Labo camera. Nah, Dude, no, not that. <laughs> no, God, no, because no, that, that's what they're gonna do. Remember, remember, Spirit Camera on the 3DS. Hey, that was a good idea. It's classic. It's horrible. <laughs> horrible. We if we yeah we need Pokemon Snap instead for that. Yes, that'd be awesome. Yeah, even like just a regular 64 one. Can, can we just get that. a regular Pokemon Snap without Labo? <laughs> No, nope. <laughs> no, do this Nintendo. It's got to be as complicated as possible. Can we just get it without that? So I don't got to look at like 360, oh, like up to my eyes. Water, my eyes were watering the whole time, man. Playing Labo, I can't. Uh, where's Ke that uh, video? It's coming. <laughs> you Ke said that for two weeks. I know I did. It's coming. Uh, Keel Lane says, See, I told you a thousand likes would be impossible to get. All right, thanks, Keel. Uh, <laughs> Mecca Dragon 101 says, uh, thoughts on pro Jared controversy. We talked about it earlier, um, in more explicit detail than we probably should have on YouTube, but hey, it's there. Sorry, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's you kept uh, predator. Jeez, <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> Sorry, Jordan's Uncle Ted says. <laughs> What? what, what <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. There's a new character entering the chat. Uncle I have an Uncle Ted, Ted now. What's right. his voice yeah. going to be? Another what, what, I don't know. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the message? Someone put it there. I'll read it. I'll make a new voice front. It, it says I can put it in the Google chat if you want. Sure. Is, is it bad? Uh, I actually, hold on. I, was, I didn't read it completely yet. There it is. Uh, Okay, let me think. Let me. Okay, what's what's a good voice? Southern. He's got to be huh? southern. Yeah, I like, sure hey. do love wrestling. RGT eighty five. What's your favorite pro wrestling video game? <laughs> I would uh, say, I would say WCW versus NWO Revenge. I know most people go to No Mercy. I just like the roster better in WCW NWO Revenge. It's much more nostalgic for me. No Mercy could potentially be the better game though. And then of course you have the Fire Pro games. Um, and then John's gonna say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, "Here comes mm -hmm. the pain. Here comes the, the pain. Best one. It's a better wrestling game. It just is. It's a better arcade game. It's not a it's real wrestling, wrestling game. game. Even has RPG it, elements and everything. You do a power bomb on the floor, and they're up in one second later. They they no sell everything. It's like a New Japan match. No, they don't. You make the entire like body part and limb because has limb damage and everything. You make it all red, and they just stay down for like ever minutes. No. Well, oh doggy, that was a yeehaw answer, my boy. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Bring me Joy-Con says Spawn Wave. Uh, tell us about the Sonic movie. Well, apparently made a kid in Jordan's theater depressed. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is great times. Uh, Rico says uh, End Game review and your theater reactions. Uh, My theater got pretty excited for certain parts. Uh, I thought the first hour was longer than it needed to be, but the last hour uh, went very quickly and it was very fun. I didn't see the movie, so I haven't seen it yet, so don't spoil it. Yeah, oh, I have not seen it. 
Miss, yeah, Mr. Mr. Click got promoted, so we're gonna go see it when he's okay. out tomorrow. There you go. Yeah, have fun yeah. with that. It's good. It's it, it it's good. It's long though. It is, but uh, I'm waiting for John Wick three. Oh, dude, out. the oh, reviews so are excited, getting me dude. way too hyped. Yes. All the so reviews excited. are going. Four dollar movie tickets, by the way, if you have T-Mobile. Just saying, you get it for four dollars. It's like ninety four percent on Rotten Tomatoes right now, dude. Oh wow, cool. I'm so excited for John. There's Wick. A, there's a game coming. Yeah, yeah, but when I saw that, I was like, "Oh, this is a cool art style." And then when I got Next into the gameplay, I'm based. like, "Oh, it's like XCOM." No yeah, thanks. XCOM. Oh. I was like, "Damn it!" I want to be if I'm John Wick. I want to be Max Payne, per- right? Yeah, Max Payne. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's perfect. But like, I, not not to diss on this that game at all. I'm sure it's gonna be cool and people are gonna like it. But like, no, that's not what I want. When John Wick, you kidding me? Mm-hmm. It's John Wick. Uh, let me, uh, Mad Gamer, no message, a dollar. Thank you. Uh, Radberry Gaming says, anybody disagree that Mario Maker 2 is the biggest first party Nintendo game this year? Pokemon, Math, Luigi's Mansion 3, maybe. Uh, honestly, Pokemon mm, will Pokemon's probably be the, big, the biggest. big one. Mario Animal Maker Crossing. will probably be the best online. Animal Crossing. Oh, wow. Yeah, hello. Animal Crossing. It's going to be oh, one does not simply forget about Tom Nook. If if yeah, that if that you. Zelda game was more along the lines of a Breath of the Wild, that would probably be it. But because it's like a remake of Link's Awakening, it it yeah. won't be near Animal Crossing or Mario Maker or even Pokemon. So I will say, don't it's sleep on a Mario Maker though. I do think Mario yeah. Maker, out of any other game, has the highest chance of just randomly doing ultra successful because yeah. of Twitch and YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, easily, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yep. Um, for I think for social interaction stuff it'll be the biggest one yeah mm-hmm. so yep. pokemon's gonna pokemon's gonna do the best it's 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 gonna do it's the best. Oh, i don't yeah. i don't doubt pokemon fun, yeah yeah yep. absolutely uh david says does anyone think nintendo will drop a four-player game this year they did do tennis aces and mario party last year yeah you ever play marvelous capcom oh well they no. have alliance coming right? out yeah. marvel yeah, alliance. alliance i'm excited for that. oh sorry yeah. i said that's what i meant I didn't do are you excited for that i got you I was, oh dude i'm so excited it. x-men I... legends were like my was my yeah. favorite series for hey, you were like three when that game came out nice <laughs> were you playing it back then Jesus. i would have been like negative three technically <laughs> not doing that no, I'm uh no dude no i loved the x-men nice. Legends games I, I love that series too i started playing x-men legends then apocalypse and i, I played every single one so dude, I'm can we talk about how x-men legends 2 rise of apocalypse is like way better than the movie that just came out. <laughs> I was pissed, dude. I freaking loved that video game, and the cutscenes actually were really, 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 really impressive. For at least it won't be as bad as uh as the X Men movie coming out in a couple weeks. Listen, I don't want to talk about Dark Phoenix, okay? Because Jean Grey is my homegirl, and I'm just sad, okay? And also, can we bad. just address the fact that Mystique is like the most annoying thing in these movies right now? I'm sorry. Oh, I love you, Jay. By Jennifer Lawrence. That's the she's problem. not like she's not even rel- She's not even the same character. Whatever. You're gonna get me on a tangent. Don't. Well, she, probably, she probably tested well. <laughs> I'm gonna go walk down the hallway. Then, well, they need to. She hurry started up. off fine in the series, <laughs> but it didn't go so well the last couple movies. Well, People they need like, to... like Mystique, and you're like not supposed to like her really. The X Men movies have no continuity. They change characters, things that, like one movie, like one movie, Mystique. Oh, Man, good person I don't even now. Have now Hugh Jackman person. to look at now. Okay, like I'm upset. Like this, you took out Hugh Jackman. There's nothing left. Just hand him over to Marvel, please. Well, they already. Sorry. Are. So after Dark yeah. Phoenix, it's all good from there. Yeah, Logan was good. Yeah, I will. Logan's agree. great. Yeah. Well, they need to hurry up and do an offensive tweet because I forgot that movie is coming out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't you don't go see it. <laughs> uh, Wishbone says, uh, "Do developers hit a reset button if they failed a lot, like Bioware, etc., lay off 100% of staff, hire new teams immediately, fresh new start?" Confused. No, they just closed the company down, and then the people moved to other companies. They'll move over to other departments and stuff because they have to keep a building open usually for them. So most likely, that's what happened. They would absorb some of the uh, the staff. Gamer fan, a dollar, no message. Uh, greatest conundrum: episodic games are ruining it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like Telltale, there when they did The Walking Dead, it was it was all right. But like, I don't think I need Final Fantasy like that seven anyway. Uh, David Valdez says I missed last weekend due to Cinco de Mayo. Back to my support of the Spawncast, of the Big Twenty Five. Thank you, David. Appreciate that. Uh, Ethan R says, "Oh my gosh, it's Stevie Richard." Not wrong. <laughs> All right. There you go. Uh, Jonathan, a dollar, no message. Thank you. NX Revolution. They did say back in 2016 that each episode would be comparable to the Final Fantasy 13 games in the length. <laughs> the first one was pretty long, though. The first 13 was. Yeah, because yeah, it's 60 hours. hours. Yeah, before before you can even do any open world stuff, it's like took 60 it's hours, man. Open world stuff sucks, too. There's no the drop rates are trash. 
<laughs> Still no excuse. Uh, it's trash. De <laughs> De Devin says, why isn't Fallout 3 or New Vegas on the Nintendo Switch? Good question. That's a great question. I'm yeah, I'll sure. take two, please. I mean, I, it, it would be it? so buggy. <laughs> it would be so buggy and bad. Fallout 3, I'm not sure of. I know New Vegas, I, I think there was some bad blood there with uh, Obsidian what? Obsidian and everything. Yeah. So they, they probably just forget about the game themselves like uh, Bethesda does. But Fallout 3, is that is interesting that that's not there yet. No, they, they, they didn't talk about it. They just said technically it'd be a, an issue. Uh, they said, I can't like, believe okay. they didn't do a 10th anniversary last year. What, mm. a, what a shame. That was stupid. Yeah, uh, we got Fallout 76. The, well, because the game barely... I mean, the game... Fallout Fallout 3 barely runs on the Xbox. Even with all the patches, it's still rough. Still and then the, great the, game. The, yeah, it is. The PS3 version works when it feels like it at times well, it yeah like <laughs> bethesda, bethesda and the ps3 didn't seem to really work at no, all they didn't, they didn't have an ocean no. of fans able to fix it for them <laughs> oh mm. uh and andy ackerman says uh final Fantasy 7 is the only since playstation 1 i have 100 you still ruined it for me <gasps> andy oh, <man. laughs> all that i i i guess i mean i haven't ruined uh i guess i could have ruined technically crisis core because that's ob the most obvious ending they how, told it can you just really ruin crisis core it's like ruining no. Star Wars episode three do you know yeah, that's true happen? you know what's gonna happen but but the way they actually had it like set up was really wait good. what happens is the end of st no. <laughs> <laughs> the way they had it set up was really good though so it was, it was awesome ending awesome ending uh let's 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 quickly take a look at nintendo's e3 2019 it's in a month actually now almost exactly yeah june 11th Whoop. wow yeah. 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. So noon Eastern, we'll have a full direct. They have a couple tournaments set up as well, of course. Splatoon uh, and Smash will both have large tournaments there, which should be fun. There you go, OJ and uh, Miss Click. You have Splatoon and then OJ will Smash. Oh, yeah. Check out. They're using items. I'm not watching that crap. No, I'm joking. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's it's going to be pretty interesting, though, because it's just mostly Microsoft and Nintendo representing there. Uh, MVG, you weird. said... You are going to E3, so yes. I assume you'll be checking out that Nintendo booth as well. I will be. I will be checking out the booth. Um, probably one of the first things I make a beeline for when I get there. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So what do we think? Because we're on the direct. What do you guys think is actually going to be playable there? Everything they announced for 2019. What are your I guess think? is? Do you think like you think there's gonna have a massive booth for uh modern vintage gamer to walk in and start playing with yes. lines, obviously? Yes. But after a few hours, yeah. You yeah. think everything's gonna be there? We're talking like Luigi's mm. Mansion. Uh, uh, I, I don't know, know if everything's kind of gonna be there. Um, I would say, I mean, Mario Maker for sure, Fire mm. Emblem, probably what about Marvel. Astral Chain, isn't that? Yeah, I I mm. Marvel Astral will Chain's definitely be August. there. Um, Dragon Quest Eleven, maybe. Um, Luigi's Mansion, maybe. Luigi's Mansion for sure, and Pokemon, I'm sure, will be there. And Link's Awakening will probably be there as well. Dude, that's gonna be a stacked booth. Yeah, it'll be like 2014. I forgot about, so many. I forgot well, hey, about Link's they, Awakening. They can Jeez. take over. They can take over Sony's area on the floor. Oh yeah, Sony has a they, large yeah, area. It, they yeah. were right next to each other uh, at Oscars E3, and that was a huge space Sony had, and Nintendo already had a huge space, so they can easily just be like, "Hey, uh, we got more games, so we're just gonna scoot over Is, here a little bit." Did we get the floor plans and everything yet for it, or no? Not oh, yet. Oh. Not yet. No. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. You want to keep an yeah. eye on the, those floor plans? That's gonna be interesting when that comes out. Because if Nintendo has a massive spot yeah. with Sony and Nintendo, that means everything is gonna be there. They, they they're, they're gonna that's need exciting. it. I, I think they're going to need it because in 2014, this is very comparable to, to that year, 2014, they had so many games to show and they had that really awesome. You guys remember 2014, that awesome digital presentation? I forgot what they called it back then, uh, but they had that. And I went to E3 that year and there was so much stuff to play. Like there was Hyrule Warriors and there was Smash Brothers mm. and there was Bayonetta 2 and 1. And there was just like there was the Yoshi game and Mario Maker was playable. They had so many games playable that year. Pretty much all of those games, even games that were coming out the following year, 2015. I think Pokemon Tournament was there, or I think Pokemon. No, wait, no, Pokemon Tournament was No, Pokemon wasn't there. But anyway, either way, there was a ton of games. They had that stupid robot game that Miyamoto canceled that got turned into a, a Labo Toy Con. That game was there. Star Fox <laughs> was there that year, too. They had so many, and it was all crunched into this because there was like 5 million setups for Hyrule Warriors and Super Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. So I think it might be like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year's setup for Smash Bros. was crazy. I got they had like they built like a whole stage mountain thing. We got to play Smash Bros. on. It's really cool. Hmm. Wow. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. I mean, you, you might have to get some footage when you're there, MVG, because it yeah, sounds I'm, like it's gonna be something else. I'm gonna yeah. definitely try to get some footage while I'm out there for sure. 
just take your cell phone with you. You probably get some good stuff with that. Yep. <laughs> That'd be fun. Very cool. Uh, actually, you know what's really cool? If, if you uh, if you tell them you have a YouTube channel and that you've done Nintendo stuff, but not necessarily hack their stuff, they might actually let you <laughs> behind the road. I'm the guy that got blocked by Nintendo. <laughs> and they won't ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably escort me out of the building as soon as I walk in there. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> uh, Evan says we have two questions for E3. Yeah, two specific ones. Uh, specifically, we have, what's your top game picks for Square Enix and Nintendo to reveal at E3? We mm -hmm. can start with that one. Reveal as something, a new game. Something games. from the Octopath team would be cool. Get it, new baby. Chrono Trigger. Oh, just don't play with my emotions. They could it's just, <laughs> you know what? They could just move Chrono Trigger over from the terrible PC port that they fixed up, and which means they probably give the old one to the Switch people until they decide to update it later. But no, like a full remake. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not one. happening. Yeah, <laughs> That'd like, be why cool. Not, like, why don't I like let call it be Chrono episodic? Try. <laughs> Chrono 3. I don't think, I just so think they have too much content. going on right now to be able to do that. A remake There's of Chrono Trigger as well. I mean, it'll. Sell. You know who the dark horse for E3 truly is? Who? Who's that? Arcade One Up. <gasps> oh god! No. no, no, no bullshit. They're announcing their uh, second half of 2019 games, and I've been hearing okay. some crazy shit. Yeah, well, I heard NBA Jam. Maybe. Oh, NBA yes. Jam. They're supposedly working on Turtles, Simpsons, X Men, Marvel versus Capcom oh, was actually Whoa, Marvel versus yeah. Capcom was spotted at um, CES. In the closed room area, they put like um, tablecloths over all of the cabinets, but you can clearly see that there's a Marvel versus Capcom logo on the bottom of one of the cabinets where they list all the games Rip. and stuff. Like that, they're supposedly potentially could even be Sega shit. Like I think they're gonna they're gonna blow people's minds. I'd, not, I'd be I'd be extra in if they did like it. a special edition uh friggin X Men one where it actually has the four controllers and it's like slightly wider. Well, that's the thing. The Karate Champ one has three controllers, so it's not outside the realm of possibility for them to do it. I'm gonna need that God, Simpsons man. cabinet. Dude. I'll, I might. I have to get the Simpsons one. I played two. Yeah, that too Simpsons much one was awesome. Oh, but, so good. Sean, you're gonna like literally. You have you're gonna have no furniture in your house besides a <laughs> hundred of these arcade cabinets and one lamp. Well, okay? see, here's the thing. I'm I'm thinking about you know the basketball hoop too, but I think I'm gonna wait till <laughs> after. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, get the, the arcade one where you throw I them still up want him to get the $1,000 yeah. one, but he can go with the cheap one. That's fine. I have the two hoop one that I haven't used in three years. Great. See, I want one. And like I was telling my mom about it, and she was like, oh, do, you do you really need the futon in that room? And I was like, I guess I don't, but where would I put it? And she was like, uh, that's a good point. And I was like, I could like get a tarp over it and put it outside on the back porch so that I don't have a place to sit. And oh she God. just got she got really quiet. I don't think she liked so that right. idea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I mean, arcade one up, man. Like that's that. I know I kind of derailed everything, but that's one of the <laughs> hypest. That's gonna be one of the hypest reveals for me is them because you know, I love their shit. If they also if they took uh, Secret of Mana Collection and moved that over, I was gonna say that. the same thing. That would be that would be good. Well, that I'd would make sense because it's done and it just needs mm -hmm. to be translated. And they've been uh, they've been trademarking stuff too that seems like it might be coming out in europe which obviously means that it'd probably come out everywhere else too um so it it's that's something you could see which would be cool because i would like to see that game come out physically and everything so that'd be awesome um what's the other e3 question evan do you think we'll see another crossover at this e3 like what happened with ubisoft and nintendo <laughs> yeah yeah the nintendo crossover with microsoft oh nate getting in there man he's just he's just time to see on the switch they should they should put their booths next to each other and have in the middle like have a booth that kind of slowly turns into the other one just slowly throughout the weekend they start moving around so it all just blends in the question was crossover right the question was crossover right crossover like kind of how they did the event where they just showed up on stage and all that oh we're okay so we're Ubisoft had Miyamoto out and he was like next to East it was the cutest thing ever can we just talk about that for a second That'd be interesting. I say yes. Look at look at how Nintendo's been with their IPs. Cadence of Hyrule. Yep. It's a fucking indie company. Like, no disrespect to them, but they're obviously a, a much smaller company than Nintendo is. I think you're gonna see some crazy ass shit yep. at this year's E3. Oh, well, apparently, I mean, Microsoft has their live stage and everything. You know, they mm -hmm. could they could do something like that. You know, they could bring out somebody from Nintendo and be like, hey, we're gonna put Oreo there and we're gonna, but, you ooh, know, who do you bring out? You can bring out anybody. It could be Doug Bowser. It could but be Doug Bowser. Yeah. Who cares? 
Re- Reggie had that stage presence. Reggie, yeah, he also, he also like made, that too. Yeah. Have we really seen much from Doug outside? Yeah, of, we like, haven't uh, seen Bowser yet. He might just walk out there. Videos yeah. of him together, like when they do like. <laughs> what if he came together? out in like giant <laughs> animatronic suit, just <laughs> like a full Bowser <laughs> suit? He's like, "What's up, bitches?" Uh, no, probably be something like a dad baseball cap or something with it. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, we we saw Reggie next to Phil at the uh, Game Awards and everything. I already did all that. Oh, Phil. <laughs> oh, uh, that would be interesting though i you know what i i could see that i could see that happening it's time it's time for ori and it's time for that to cuphead happen. i heard what? cuphead's coming too i heard cuphead's <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. come to the switch gonna be great uh-huh. oh man uh yeah that'll be fun though that'd be that'd be cool i think that'll happen and then we'll see microsoft stuff as well Ninja Theory stuff. Man, they gotta bring so. the fire this year, Microsoft. They gotta they gotta bring something. Yeah, Ninja Theory's game sounded the, pretty sweet. <laughs> what are they showing though? Is it one stuff or is knows, it stuff man. for the next gen? It's it's gonna be technically both, I guess. I mean they're they're gonna be backwards paddle. You know, Gears, Halo. Else Halo, 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 Halo is gonna be there. Halo Infinite. I'm ready for that well, game. You got Gears Let's five as well. Yeah. Eh. Halo Infinite though. Jesus. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> yeah. Relax there, buddy. Uh, no, the, the rumors for Ninja Theory's next game sound pretty interesting too. So that's gonna be cool. It, apparently it's, I was, I was hearing that it's like a, a mech game, <gasps> which is weird. We're bringing back mech warrior. No, not that. Oh. Oh. Mech assault. Well, mech assault. Good. Apparently the, no, it sounds like it's gonna be more along the lines of a, or like an arcade Gundam style game almost, but it's, back like, Gundam. it's like a four player game multiplayer apparently. And it's called, uh, one of the, the code name for it was what bleeding wait, edge. Wait, when you, when you say arcade Gundam, are you talking about the one uh, where they had like those domed screens and you're actually like in the cockpit or. I don't know how it's going to look. I just, yeah. just details, just rumor and details getting pushed around. Who knows if it's actually real, but yeah, right. that's the word. Is it the word either way is that Ninja Theory is going to be there with a the game that they've been working on for years, apparently. So I wouldn't be shocked if, the, I mean, if they Ninja Theory did come out with something like that, they've always tried to do something different. I mean, they've made some of the kind of weird, I remember Enslaved stuff like that. Like yeah. Yeah. They did Enslaved. I mean, usually Dude. they did action games, but they've oh, done some so different good. types of stuff to where they weren't kind of like out of their comfort zone. Uh, you know they're usually making action games, uh, but I, I can see they might want to move over to something completely different now that they actually have the financial backing of a company like Microsoft. So yep. I think I think Microsoft's actually gonna have a pretty good show. Uh, yeah, I think I'll they'll take- I think they're gonna show up with at least one next generation box. You know, one of the systems they'll at least show what the plastic on the outside looks like, um, and uh, that's about all the. I hope we see gameplay for Halo Infinite. That's the biggest thing. You think they'll do some type of teaser like they did with the um, you know, the the Scorpio a couple of years ago? Same t- same type of thing. Yeah, they up. they have no problem announcing their system a year and a half in advance. Yeah. Apparently, they'll, they'll, they'll spend the first <laughs> twenty minutes talking about specs. We built the most powerful Xbox I, ever. I don't know, 4K, 4K. I think they'll talk about TV, AMD TV, and TV. be like, "Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be power, it's gonna be more powerful than Stadia or whatever, and all this stuff." And then uh, that they'll do that. I'll be curious if they talk about more than one system. I, I, I know they'll at least talk about one of the boxes. I think so. I think they have to detail X Cloud a little more. X Cloud. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, they need a release date or at least a date for the beta. Yeah, I, th- I think that's about, they have to get ahead of that and kind of push their streaming talk. Yeah, that needs to happen soon. Yeah, so it's gonna be. E3 is going to be fun. I want some major uh, Game Pass announcements at E3. I want, <laughs> I want them to be like, listen, every Xbox 360 game is now on Game Pass. I mean, you might as well sign up now because for just a dollar. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it well beyond. E3. For just one dollar today, you can support yourself for three months of gaming with over hundreds of titles. Oh, uh, man. Hey, Saints Row the Third's on there. Saints Row the Third's on there, <laughs> and it's a better version. Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it's a, it's a what play. Is, it's a more playable version. What is your feel work? Hmm? Game Pass does have the ultimate co-op game for you to play with your mother tomorrow with Resident Evil Five. <laughs> 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 the ultimate gift of bonding for just one dollar. It's time to uh, co-op with your mom. Get ready for Resident Evil Five. <laughs> Get ready to punch that boulder and take down Wesker. Oh man! And conduct global saturation. <laughs> Evan, did we have any more Discord questions? Uh, just the one. It's a basic sure. question. Okay. They, this person noticed there was a game coming out soon called Heroin Anthem, and they were wondering if anybody heard about it. Do they know if it was like a port? Maybe they should have done some marketing and yelled at a reporter on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've heard about that. It only has a 6 out of 10, 10 on Steam. Which would mean it was a port. So oh, is that Heroin Anthem now? Zero Sacrifice? Uh, is that what I'm looking at right? Comic book style. It's a game about drugs? 
Is that another? It's another game that's being moved over from Steam. A lot Episode of these games are four. jumping from Steam to the Switch and actually doing pretty well doing that. Looks like it was on PS4 as well. It's oh. an epic fantasy 2D size growing action RPG with Japanese voiceover and support for seven languages. It's being Ooh, published by what languages? Who's publishing it? Winking. Uh, winking. Okay. Like, like, like I'm winking at you. Oh, hmm. Hey, what's going on, Nate? I'll look into this game a bit more. <laughs> I'm watching a trailer art stuff. I mean, it looks kind of vanilla ware ish. I don't know if I'd go that far. Kind of, kind of. It's like store brand vanilla wear. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's, it's the Walgreens. It's the Walgreens yeah, brand. Of yeah, vanilla. Walgreens. Yeah. Oh gosh, is it like Walgreens toy aisle or like, like? I mean, the toy <laughs> aisle had, had or like the wings. Aisle. Hey, they got Pokemon cards at Walgreens, so they, they got have. Mario action figures there. They too. do. Well, hmm. but one of its key features is available in English. Ooh, thank God for that. Uh, so we also uh, let's move on to the last topic we have here before we finish up. Uh, it's it might be shorter because not a lot has happened outside of it yet. Just that a bill has been proposed for loot boxes and pay to win mechanics in games to be pretty much banned. Essentially, it would basically make the game adult only from what I could tell. And it's basically targeted towards games that know that it's going to be played by minors, even if it's mature rated. I assume that's like Call of Duty, although they did name Candy Crush Saga specifically. <laughs> Like that was one. That's Josh Hawley, a U.S. senator from Missouri, is now targeting loot boxes in games with a bill that's been for the state uh, of Missouri first. or for nation. Just an overall bill, just, just kind of like, like, uh, like what Hawaii tried to do. Like, yes, year back. Yeah, it did. It failed in Hawaii, it seemed, but this has been proposed. And this one seems to be taken a bit more seriously. I think people forgot about it happening in Hawaii, though. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I the wording in this one's better because it practically sounds yes. like they're going to set up a uh, special group that these companies are going to have to now pay to look at their game to determine uh -oh. whether or not it's that has this in there. So they can go either you can release it or screw you, do something else to it. So is the government's going to get a nice little cut. But is there I was going to say, do we want to start doing that? <laughs> is there like a di distinguishing thing between like the gambling where you you know you keep buying to get an item that you want versus just like you know speed up some power ups and pay to win type it, stuff? Is it, it is depends? It in there? They said it sounded like the power up things they tried to get rid of as well. They keep claiming games targeting kids, which I mean, if you're a politician and you think video game, don't you just immediately think kids, which means all games are targeting kids at all times? I just feel like it's a slippery slope, like. Yeah, once the government gets involved in video yeah. games, it's it could be very, very interesting. I the mean, thing yeah. that's gonna happen I'm not looking is, forward to that. Nope. If it went through, they're gonna ban loot boxes. Oh well, and then the, the industry is gonna figure out a way to do something else that's not a loot box, but a way to monetize it a different way. And the yeah. cycle's gonna continue. Yeah. Video games is gonna be in the news more. Like, let's just not. I, I'd rather not. Really, it's not. I don't think it's worth attempting to even put loot box no. in your game at this point. I think that's no. why EA is kind of they're backing up a bit from loot box. I've noticed this. They should Minus follow the FIFA. Randy method. Just say, hey, no microtransactions. Just yeah, but let's sell the stuff straight up. They got. I mean, we'll know if they have if when FIFA comes out. Right? Yeah, I mean, FIFA is the one, man. It was FIFA, if it's still the same with the ultimate player thing, whatever it's called, um, if that's still there, then obviously they're they're holding steady on it. But you know, yeah. we'll see. They're willing to go to court in Belgium over FIFA, and then they backed out the last minute. So like they they do not want to let FIFA go, which is weird because it's an annualized series that they sell over twenty million copies a year with. Wow, it's almost like they don't need all that extra they, money. They they don't. They really don't. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> they just, I'm just confused. Like people are willingly spending, like wasting their money on a specific game for tiny amounts that obviously add up to a lot. I mean, but like, at what point are we going to say, like, no, you can't I, give people the option to waste your money? Like, that's just the only concerning part to me. You know, <laughs> other than just getting a cut of it. Yeah, because I mean, their focus is on for people with addictive personalities just doing it. I guess is their yeah, thing. Yeah, but I mean, Vegas it, is but, still a thing. You yeah, know? that's and like, that's the Vegas problem. Like, isn't just gone. But you know? but then their but then their statement is usually you're a gambling on something that's not physically real. Worse versus in Vegas, you could win technically money. I guess that's the difference. Mm -hmm. It also mm -hmm. needs to be up to the parents to also be in, in a, you know involved in their kids' lives and make sure yeah that like stuff like this doesn't card happen. Yeah, that, that's always the trick to me is oh well, it targets kids. Yeah, all the kids well, with the credit parents. cards right now who are just yeah. like let me build all this well, debt. I, yeah. <laughs> we are we a generation store. of kids who went to a store and we bought six Pokemon card packs hoping we'd get a Charizard. 
We didn't six know. Pokemon like, card packs. Dude, Dude you should have Steve Jordan opening recently, Dude, man. Jordan, yo, awesome. So, <laughs> <laughs> there's this new Pokemon card that came out in the new set that's worth two hundred dollars. And in ten yeah. packs, in ten packs live on stream, I pulled a two hundred dollar Pokemon card. <laughs> wow, nice. it's, it's a Charizard, by the way. Oh wow, nice. nice. I'm very happy about it. I think. I think the, the. I think the real issue is they don't want to admit that it's in any way gambling because then there's regulations that go into that and taxes mm. and yeah. Activision already doesn't pay taxes. So they don't want to start now. <laughs> yeah, but Board wording and stuff like that's always weird when it comes to legality. There was a two week time period where I couldn't buy anything on steam because steam's a gaming platform mm. and most banks determine gaming to be gambling. So did you, guys, <laughs> did you guys know that that Activision got a refund and didn't pay any taxes? Yeah. <laughs> Does that I bother anybody? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? They're getting, I'm just, I'm they're getting paid that to ruin anyone. these companies we love. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. I oh, know. I'm so salty just about Blizzard. Just checking if that bothered anyone. Also, that they let people bit. off. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. You know how it is here. Yeah. <laughs> Happy April 15th, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they got a refund. Uh, my, my brother almost, my brother almost drove to Washington after his <laughs> after he did his sex. He was like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, <laughs> wow. he's uh, always got a refund. He didn't get what he was. He I actually think that's the biggest thing is that they don't want to they don't want to admit that it's gambling, so they don't have to pay taxes and regulate in that area. <laughs> basically, I think that's why really. So. Did now? Did they let those eight hundred people go before April the fifteenth or after? It was before. Four, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good old Activision. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love them. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, there was there's there's some good videos out there going over how they how they did it. So it's offshore companies, the whole thing. Good old Bobby Kotick. You tie it to a basement in like Europe somewhere or something hidden away, and that's that's how you do it. Apparently. Big yikes. Good. So I gotta I gotta look into that. Apparently. Um, let me <laughs> let's finish up with some super chats uh, here, and then we can uh, we can finish up. Uh, where was I here? Uh, oh, here we go. Ethan, uh, port Chameleon Twist to Switch. And then he asked. Then he says, "Now ban me, cowards." Chameleon <laughs> Twist was on the. That was a sixty-four game, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Bill Cook says, "MVG got a blue three sixty because of you. What to do with? Oh, question: What to do with it? Uh, play Gears of War two. You're welcome. Here's a word. Good recommendation. Right. Are they are now are they are people uh JTAGing those things still? Or what are they doing now? They're they're doing reset glitch. What are they doing with these things? Yeah, now? reset glitch. You can you can still do those on on the newer on the newer systems. Okay. I definitely recommend you do that. There you go. Right. There you go, Bill. I would look in the reset glitch for that. Uh Ethan R then says, please don't actually ban me. <laughs> <laughs> uh Victor Victor says, have uh, have you played OJ's favorite OJ favorite game? Remember me with a question mark. Ooh, remember me. Remember I have me. played that game. How's it going? <laughs> we were talking about it the other day on stream because it was like back when I was just doing like Nintendo gaming, and then I, I played like Xbox 360 games. <laughs> like oh. My in my intro says Nintendo gaming, then an Xbox 360 game cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Charlie says, "Are you guys going to watch the kind of funny games E3 showcase?" Just found out. My indie game is going to be in it. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out. I checked it out last time they did it, and they had Messenger DLC and stuff, and it was pretty cool. It was good. They congrats did a good job over there. Your, so. Congrats on your game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's congrats, pretty, man. That's, that's awesome. pretty cool to have in the kind of funny uh, game showcase. I hope that hope that actually uh, that helps out. Uh, that would be cool. Um, I think they did it later in the year last year because there was no PlayStation experience. So they wanted to try it, and they actually did pretty good with it. Um, Skyler says, my brother just got a DUI. No bail for him, so $2 for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> I, I love the people who do super Happy chats Day, on your dude. channel. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Uh, son's in jail. <laughs> Derek, Derek says, screw the haters. Predator will be hype. Thank you. <laughs> we are hating on it. No, just uh, hating on Sean. Yeah. Straw 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 <laughs> says, I hope Mario Maker 2 will get support with DLC over time to keep it fresh for a while long after the initial release. Yeah, the DLC is called user created content. User created content. I was gonna say, yeah. Twitch It'll have a lot of alive. DLC. If yeah. only if only Mario Party had user created content. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mario Party had anything, really. Still on 1.0.0 out here. <laughs> uh users would create like some awful board. Uh, uh Ethan R says for Mother's Day, 
Sean, you forgot to take the Pepto. Okay. Okay. You gotta, you gotta take your Pepto Bismol, apparently. You gotta do the voice though. Oh, so, Sean, did you take your Pepto Bismol? I know you get an upset stomach every now and then. Uh, David says, uh, "Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles." You know, I forgot about that game. I think it too. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't seen it in a while. It's, it would work coming. awesome on the Switch too, but it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it is. Cool. It, I, 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 is that just gonna be a random Twitter? Drop, you think, whenever they decide to re- put the release date out for it? Square Enix has their E3 coming up, so yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good. I mean, that's just point. wake up tomorrow and it's just on the shop. They didn't yeah. say anything. <laughs> uh, they, just to, they just wanted to get all the to be honest, they just wanted to get all the other stuff like the 12 and the all that junk out the way. Now they can focus on a couple other things they got and some new announcements. So yeah, it's coming. Ooh. And uh Jonathan says, What do you guys think of the switch CPU boost Nintendo did silently? silent but i don't know john what what do you think john did did you did you talk about it at some point (laughs) i did talk about it digital foundry did a video on it too and found some uh, interesting results uh uh, by the way mvg they were using a hacked switch so i guess you're allowed to do that now i saw Um, that yeah (laughs) (laughs) uh it was cool it's interesting that they play around with the clock speeds and everything to get better load times for what the gear eight eight seconds that is doing it so what's that gearing up for that pro and that (laughs) light yeah what is that light the light's getting announced in like a week or two, right? When's that happen? Oh. <laughs> well, if it releases in June, yeah, they have to. There you go. Next week, but there you go. Not gonna. Really It'll probably be announced like a week or two after E3 or something. After it di- everything dies down, they just, they'll just drop it on Twitter like they did with the 2DS XL. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think it is. Uh, but MVG, you've been um, boosting the Switch and stuff off camera and everything as well. So you I probably have, yeah. like, you probably played around with the, like a CPU clock speed that was like super high. Yeah, you can boost it to two gigahertz if you really want to push it hard. Um, but the th- the thing that he didn't really talk about in his video was the heat, because even when you kind of boost it to like twenty percent more clocks, it mm-hmm. really starts blowing hot air out of the fans and it gets loud. Well, good news, I found a radiator <laughs> on Amazon. I was just about to say, <laughs> you what? I did a video on it. So they, they have a radiator on Amazon for the Switch. A, a radiator. radiator. <laughs> I put it out this morning. The video slowly on it. drips condensation water into your it's Switch. So funny. Fine. It, it's it's like this like knockoff like uh, China accessory. It's made in China. Everything says around the back. Uh, but China? it's I love China. It's uh, it, it's basically a fan encased in a fan controller. Oh wow! And then it actually sits on the top and works to pull air out of the Switch fast. Interesting. Yeah. Does it actually work? It actually, it, <laughs> I, I will admit, it actually pulled air out and the switch was cooler, but I didn't do anything like, you know, boost the clock speeds or anything. But it was like 17 bucks and I can't track the temperature right now because obviously it's not modded or anything. But for 17 bucks, it might be worth looking into for yourself yeah, just to see. I checked it out. One of those, uh, the measurements, you sit, shoot it with the laser and just put it to the back of the system. Yeah. Well, because it's in the dock. I dropped the link oh. for it in the in the oh. chat. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. I might actually, yeah. uh, I might actually play around with a switch uh, and get it hacked and everything, and pl- check out the temperatures myself. You can see the temperatures in real time, MVG, when yeah. you do that. Yeah, yes, you can. Yeah. yeah, that's so much better. Like than mm. me, I, I had I'm a crack that thing. I had a temperature probe, probe next God to damn. the thing, and I'm like, I, I don't know if I'm getting the best temperature from this. I mean, I got a temperature, but. I well, feel like I could nice. software, yeah. So yeah, the overclocking stuff's interesting. I mean, it really makes you think, you know, how far the Switch Pro will will get pushed. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's going to be about twenty to twenty five percent improvement in performance. You know, a little yeah. more, maybe a little more, but it depends on the SOC they go with. Obviously, I mean, my ex- my expectation is it's going to be a base. It's it's going to be based on an X two. Because at minimum, if they give a base X2, we're looking at about 750 gigaflops. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would agree with that. So it might go a little beyond that because I still think they're going to target native 1080p, 30 frames a second for docked games of like the high end stuff like Doom. We're going to see that try to push it to like nine, 900p, but when it's like undocked, they're going to try to get that to 720p and 30 frames a second. Yeah. So you need what, about a two and a half times increase? Mm. I can't help but think, though, they're going to stay with the X1 and then they're just going to have a better cooling system in there and push it harder. What about 4K? No. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, they could still have the onboard, you know, the hardware 4K upscaler because that won't require anything. Yeah. And then the current X1 already supports that. They could do that, but you're not getting 4K, you know, rendering. Oh, man. (laughs) Uh... 
let's finish up here. Our loot boxes are just digital trading card packs and some straw man. That's what you're saying, Nate, right? They're just digital trading card packs. I mean, aren't they kind of? They kind of are. I, I assume you're kind of stuck with them though, unless you're in like well, a currency type base where you could trade them. I, I I see the thing is I assume that they're because you'd have to go there and there's more control over it, whereas now you have credit cards linked to accounts and it's a one bu button press. Like, do you know, you know, I mean, there's I mean, you infinite... buy them Amazon, <laughs> but back then when we were riding our bike there, yeah. we um, well, and there was a limit, they only had so part. many, they only had so many packs in the store. Yeah, I guess. Um, I, I'm trying to, I, I think that's where they're thinking about it from. Whereas unlimited pools on the slot machine when you're playing it on the game, I guess uh, that's, that's all I can think of. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, finish up Miller. What do you think? Final Fantasy seven remake first episode. Oh, when do you think it's coming? <laughs> It's going to be a PS5 launch title and a PS4 cross-gen title. So I'm going to say something crazy. I think that Square is going to launch it holiday 2019, the first episode. I, That's what Hey Jay said today. <laughs> I say late spring 2019. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, late what? Wait, late spring, spring 2019. 2019. Whatever year next year. Is. 2020. No, no, no. It's coming out. <laughs> God dang, Nate. It's already out. It's It's already out. You just said era. We're in the wrong <laughs> fucking timeline, bitch. And it's available <laughs> right after happening. the show. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be a shadow drop at E3. There's no way. That would be a no. It wouldn't pull, they wouldn't pull hey, the window. Technically, Final Fantasy VII did release late spring 2019 on the Switch. And Xbox One. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. They did say on the state of play, more will be revealed, you know, in June. At, yeah. in June. If it wasn't going to be episodic, I would say, okay, it's going to be a bit. But because it's episodic, I almost feel like they'll get one out. Unless the Avengers project launches, because they'll split those up. Yeah. So that I'm really still excited. We'll for. see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, then Miller finished up saying, I'm going to drink the Kool-Aid and say 2019. Okay. Oh, I read that completely different. I thought he just said, "Hey, I'm going to drink some Kool Aid and then just say 2019 out loud in his room." I'm like, okay, cool. So let's uh, let's go around here. Uh, Miss Click, where can they find you? Thanks for joining us, by the way. Oh, it was so much fun. Uh, yeah, um, I'm Miss Click. You can find me here on YouTube as Miss Click Gaming, and uh, you can find me on Switch. But um, currently, uh, there's a couple extra characters in there. You can just find all my social at MissClickGaming.com. There's a new website. Everything's linked there for you. So yep. yeah. There's also uh, everyone here is also linked down in the description. So if you want to check anyone out, their uh, stuff is all listed down below. Convenient. Uh, and then MVG, thanks for joining us tonight. Where can they find you, man? Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, you can find me on YouTube at Modern Vintage Gamer and Twitter at Modern Vintage G. And I got a video coming out on Monday about the GameCube copy protection. So Ooh, yeah. people that are into that, check it out. I like the sound of that. That'll be cool. Uh, what about OJ? Where can they find you, man? Yeah, you guys can find me right here on YouTube um, and also on Twitter at Player Essence. My Twitter is the best Twitter account ever of all time. Uh, so you guys, can, you guys can find me there as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a lab of, I mean, my, my lab of video is almost done. So that's going to be coming. Uh, we do a lot of live streams and like I cover a lot of uh, Japanese gaming news. Uh, RPGs, action games, stuff like that. So if you're into all that, and if you like Smash Brothers as well, I do a lot of live streaming. I probably live stream like five hours a day, plus also edited content. So if you're into any of that stuff, then check out my channel. Uh, and then Sean, what about you, man? Where can they find you? Find me at RGT85. Today we made a video on a fake bootleg Wii Motion Plus controller. <laughs> I was actually surprised by it. And then uh, I'm working on the Wii Dual video. I was going to try to finish it for tomorrow and release it tomorrow, but it's Mother's Day, so I'm, I'm not even going to be around. So Monday, hopefully I'll have that up. You can find me on Instagram. I started using Instagram, <laughs> RGT <laughs> underscore 85. And, uh, you, had you the know, normal one. Did somebody yeah. take your full name? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've had it for a while. I just never used it. So now I'm starting to kind of use it. I'll look okay. that up. And then, uh, uh, Nate, what about you, man? Where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Direct Feed Games. You can find a link to my YouTube channel there where you'll find some comparison videos of like Saints Row the Third Switch versus Xbox 360, Sniper Elite V2 Remastered Switch versus the Xbox 360 <laughs> version. And I, th I don't know what content I have next week coming up, but mm. something. Okay. Okay. Any plans on another discussion video? If anything happens in the industry, yes. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. And then, uh, oh, if anyone has any any person you guys want to raid, 
Rax is streaming and oh. he, yeah, there you he, go. He, he can't get any love from YouTube or an <laughs> internet company yeah. or anything. Rax. Ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Go say YouTube's hi to Rax. Part. And then I got uh, Jordan. What about you, man? Where can they find hi, you? Hi, I'm Jordan. Uh, so uh, you can find me <laughs> on Jordan Fringe on YouTube. Uh, we're getting we, so when we started earlier we said about the thirty thousand thing we went up about 100 subs so far whoop, so whoop. we're about 1600 away from me wearing panty panty was a panty party what's the game called yes panty party panty par we're, panties. we're gonna unbox we're gonna unbox <laughs> review the panty party collector's edition That's, i'm gonna wear the panties gonna but only oh absolutely i don't even care it's hilarious uh so 30,000 subs by the end of this month. I got to wear them in a review. And whoop, whoop. You, that, that's only dependent if you decide to subscribe. Yep. All right. Go go say hi to Rax. Uh, I dropped his link in the description. Go say hi. Um, that's going to do it here for uh, Spawncast episode 110 tonight. Thanks to everyone joining us. Thanks to all our guests who also joined us tonight. And we'll see you guys next Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time.